All right, welcome back everybody to this week's episode of Omega Dawn. Uh, to everybody watching uh, on Twitch, uh, my apologies for the delay. It's been quite a few weeks since we last gamed um, due to circumstances beyond everybody's control, primarily mine. Uh, welcome to everybody who's playing today uh, and everyone who's watching. Um, we'll do a quick recap and then get back into the action. Uh, the crew uh, has been exploring the planet Star Mist, looking for lost alien treasure, having discovered a uh, high-tech alien um, hover tank underneath a primitive uh, pyramid by primitive villagers. Uh, they uh, confiscated such tank uh, and started driving it around. Uh, were quickly attacked by some uh, mechanoids, uh, highly suspected to be of uh, Sathar uh, make, uh, and uh, followed uh, the uh, control signal back to a uh, disguised bluff um, which held um, some ca some rocket launchers and cannons, uh, which uh, promptly engaged the tank, uh, and the tank engaged back. After a short uh, but furious battle, um, they managed to disable the weapons on the uh, on the bluff, uh, and then uh, grounded the tank on the shoreline. Uh, and bailed out, suspecting that it was going to explode soon. Um, behind the bluff, on the opposite side, uh, on the east side of the bluff, where the uh, cannons and that were, uh, appears to be some sort of base. Um, as the uh, intrepid crew were approaching the base on foot, a human dived uh, out of one of the buildings, um, climbed aboard a jet copter, an armed jet copter, uh, and took off uh, straight towards the uh, the group firing uh, a machine gun, I think it was, uh, out of the jet copter. Heavy laser. No, you're right. Heavy laser. Um, the crew uh, scattered and shot down the uh, the helicopter, the jet copter. Uh, and that's basically where we left it last time. Uh, does anyone want to recap better than that? <laughs> nope, that's All I remember. that I remember Babu was making towards the, that close building where the helicopter had origin originated from. Yes, that's correct. Oh yeah, and we left Matt's underneath the tree. And you left Max underneath the tree, not too far away. So, uh, if everyone's got the map up, and not everyone has, but you have now. Um, you're coming in from the south. Uh, the helicopter marked on the map is where the helicopter was. Uh, it's obviously taken up from there, taken off from there. You're still um, several tens of meters short. Uh, and for the record, that grid's a two meter grid. Um, so, uh, so yes. Um, and Babu is fast approaching building that, uh, that first round building just to the north of where the helicopter was. Of course, uh, over to the uh, west of the helicopter, where the helicopter was, is an air car from memory. A hover car, actually. So, uh, where were we heading, guys? What were we doing? I think we were, well, I'm pretty sure we wanted to hijack the jet copter, but that's... Uh it's a burning pile of debris now. But and a furrow in the ground. The hover car <laughs> and like take something out of the engine. That way yeah. we can't start it without that thingy. But yeah, something have... like a distributor cap or something. I wanted to disable the hover car so that it's still there when we're done. Sure. Um, so if you make your way over to the hover car. Um, it's, I believe uh, that who was going to secure that doorway. Yep, gotcha. Not a worry. Um, that's, that's, that doorway, I'm assuming? Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought you meant. Um, so the hover, the hover car is empty. Um, uh, it's a standard, 
um, six six man hover car. Um, there is a heavy projectile weapon um, extending from its nose. Oh yeah. Almost as good as grenades. <laughs> Keeping an eye out for any possible hostiles. Yes, obviously. So, um, so that's that's actually a heavy machine gun. No, it's actually a recoilless rifle. Oh, okay, cool. Even better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I want to disable it. Something like a distributor at cap, right? Um, so something that is small yeah, enough that well, can fit in my pack and. Won't work yeah. without. Well, you've got a you've got a sabotage machinery skill, I believe. Yeah, I don't want to break it per se. You know what I mean? No, I know, but you can use the same skill to. Yeah, that should be good enough, I reckon. And I don't think that was Big Man who did that. I think that was you, wasn't it? Oh yeah. I didn't uh, uh, for the uh, uh, for the record, um, uh, Cerise is player is also having to look after Bim Bam today. So, yeah. Um, now, um, the only good... Okay, so that's not a problem as far as doing that. You're quite successful in that. However, just as you finish that... That there... Oops. That there is actually a uh, covered porchway. Um, um, and it's open, obviously, on the sides. Um, and around the corner, I suppose you could say, uh, or walking or moving along the porchway, um, um, is one of these... Um, tracked uh, sapphire-like robots. You know the ones that very similar to the ones that attacked you guys in the village. Should we put uh, tokens on the map? If you want, shouldn't wouldn't hurt, I suppose. Cat, you've been eating your Wheaties. Yeah, why can't I get that any smaller? No, I can't get that any smaller, I don't know why. Can you, uh, like zoom in and make the grid bigger and then... Yep, 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 doing that now. And it just exploded. <sighs> You're not that big, Cerise. <laughs> Babu, however. <laughs> Babu, however. <laughs> uh, uh, who are we going to use for the others? We haven't got uh, tokens for the others yet. Hang on a sec. Let me see if I can find some decent tokens. Red, white, or blue, Paul? Yes, please. Which one, which colour would you like? I'm just being a smart ass. Red, please. Oh, okay. Red one? Okay. Red, uh, dark wolf. Sorry? Red for blood, baby. Red for blood. Uh, I'll use that one for, for Bim Bam. Okay. Uh, right. If you zoom in, Matt, they'll go smaller, and then you can lock token scale. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to get them down. I think Vogue is the only one that's... Yeah. What color, Vogue? Uh, blue. Give me blue. Yeah, it's only a rough indication anyway, guys. It's not that big, not that thing. So, uh, and I need... Um, the time bank. 
Right, lock the tokens. Well, well if you the zoom tokens. in, they'll get to that. Yeah, perfect. Here we go. So, week. Right. Can, can we, we see that back porch, or is it shielded? No, that I see, it, it, I see that that's open through there. So oh. yes, you can see that, and he can see you. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um. Who's white? Bim. Oh, okay. Bim, bim. The New Zealand shooter? <laughs> yes. I couldn't help a, myself. Um, couldn't help myself. No, and they, that it was a terrible, terrible thing. This a terrible thing to happen too. We don't do well, that. Doesn't happen in Oz or New Zealand. Yeah. Um. Um. So yeah, it was a, a rotten thing to do. A rotten thing to happen. So. Um, he takes a shot at uh, you, Cerise, the robot does. Um, actually, he takes two shots at you. Uh, and the first one hits. What type of weapon? Auto pistol. Six points. Auto pistol. Auto pistol. Six points. Uh, so, uh, can I get issues of, of everybody, please? Now that he's had a go. Hey. But benefit of surprise, my boy. Benefit of surprise. Uh, so that's Vokes, got that one, looks like. That's a current stamina series. <laughs> I didn't mean to roll it. Uh, my initiative's up higher. Yeah, it's cool. I go first, 43. No, you don't. Voke, <laughs> I think you've got, I think you've got first got first shot. Uh, yeah. First action. Can I see him? Uh, well, where are you on the map? I've got, I'm, I, uh, that's the level we're well, you should be able to see him, I reckon. Yep. What's with the line, by the way? I don't know how that line got... Yeah, interesting. It's attached to the what? token. I don't know how it got... Yeah, interesting. I don't know either. I'll have to look at that. That's cool. No worries. So, yes, uh, you can see him. Um, um, each, arm, each arm has an auto pistol. Uh, attached to it. There's also a, a rocket launcher over his shoulder, aka like the Predator. Uh, let's see, what would the range? Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, twelve to fourteen, twelve meters or so. All right, so that's, I believe, an automatic rifle. That is point blank. Should be pretty close. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, that would just be a few short. Twelve meters. No, oh, yeah, it would be two. Combat modifiers. I will do first uh, spot. That is really badly written. This. We have to rewrite it completely. So you're going to do burst fire, go for your life. No. I think I can all can I take careful aim with the burst fire? No. no? Okay. You already get no. plus twenty. <laughs> no, you do not you do not get you do not get careful aim with burst fire. That's a shame. Yeah, get a single shot with burst with, with careful aim. And I'm pretty sure you couldn't use your scope with burst fire either. It feels no, wrong. No, you can't. You can't. You can't <laughs> use your scope. You cannot use your scope with burst fire either. Oh, oh, that's 
we just always mention that. Okay, so that's a miss. Uh, after that, um, uh, Babu and or Jazz. Actually, Jazz, because Jazz has got a higher initiative modifier to start with. Uh, Therese right. had 14. Where? Yes. Yeah, not the 40. Oh, you did too. Sorry, missed it. My fault. Missed it. Therese, you're up. That's okay. So, was I done with the air car or not? Yes, you may. Yeah, the air car, yeah. I so said just as you finish the. the just as so you finish disabling the air car, the uh, the uh, this this two arm two tentacle tracked semi sapphire like robot comes around the corner. Okay, I want to move to uh, this side of the building, but can you move that far? It's two meters a square. Don't uh, forget. Running per turn, 26. I got all sorts of little legs. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying that's a bit... Okay, so you're going to use your, you're going to use your action to run to there, are you? Actually, that if, if I count right, that's one, two, three, five squares, so that's 10 meters, so that's a walk for me. Yeah, well. It's also on the diagonal, don't forget. So add yeah, an extra one into the leg. No, yeah, well, yeah, basically count every other. But yeah, I want to move there and make yeah, okay. sure there's nothing, no threats. Not, nothing you can see. Okay, so that's your that's your action. Nothing you can see there. So that's cool. So, uh, Jazz. Jazz. Uh, jazz is thinking. Uh, jazz so should have be, should have been thinking already. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, jazz he, doesn't he think. He just reacts. Yeah, well, and he, right now he can't actually see the uh, robot, right? Um, that you there? That you there, Jazz? Uh, next to the helicopter. No, that's only you there. Uh, no, yeah, you definitely can't see the robot from where you're standing without moving. Yeah. Um, choo -choo -choo -choo. So he would probably. Jump there and take a shot. Okay, In single shot, you moved. Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. I'm just making sure we remember it's been six weeks. It's been six weeks! Oh. Hang on, I'm just finding stuff on Jazz's sheet. Yeah, it's cool. Take your time. It's been a while. We've got to get back in the swing of things, all of this. All of us. Yeah, that should have been jazz. Yeah, I figured as much. What with? What's your what's your laser rifle set to? One, two, three, four. Jazz's laser rifle is wow. always set to ten. It's yeah, something that okay. Thomas always does. He's no, it's true. <laughs> it's, yeah, no, it's true. That's true. Okay, the ro uh, okay, the robot takes a, 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 a pretty heavy hit um, and appears to be moderately damaged, moderately wounded. And that is Jazz. And so that would be um, Babu. I'm assuming you're going to force act force axe the damn thing, Bab. Oh yeah, yeah. It actually goes uh. to 20. <laughs> yes, I know it goes to 20. So if I, I count that right, get... we're looking at 2, 4, say 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, you can charge that. You can charge that. Oh, you can charge straight in, mate, if you're going to charge in to attack him. You don't have Which to do means? that roundabout way. What are we looking mm -hmm. at there, then? What do you mean? Well, I'm seeing, like, looks like two buildings, several rooms. Two buildings. Two, yeah, two buildings, and that's a porch. So that dark line, that dark line there, is simply the edge of the porch. It's it's come up dark on the map than it should have done. That's uh, not a wall. That is not a wall. Oh, okay. So I can basically just okay. start, charge straight to him. Then. Yes, that's what I was saying. Here. You're probably better off charging straight for him. Yes. Uh, okay. So just a simple force axe attack.
Ah. Okay, it's a hit. Okay. Yes, it does go. To, yes, it does go to eleven, Doc. Just had to ask. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Okay, so um, a couple of things happen simultaneously here. Uh, the uh, Babu swings uh, uh, his charges forward, swings his force axe uh, quite heavily uh, into the uh, into this uh, this this attacking robot, um, and does quite a bit of damage. At the same time, the robot's electrical defense field activates because you touched it. <laughs> uh, and uh, unless you've got some sort of electrical defense, like a gauze screen or an anti-shock implant. Uh, probably have an anti -shock. Don't. I recommend an anti-shock implants for all of you folks. It's a thousand credits well spent. <laughs> yeah, it's two thousand. Yeah, it's two thousand credits well spent. Sonic helmet. No, sorry, no good. Uh, you take twelve points of damage from the uh, from the electrical force from the electrical defense field of this robot. Uh, but the robot has just flipped into. Uh, yeah, it just flipped into heavy damage. The robot is heavily damaged. Unfortunately, Babu also now is in the line of fire for anyone shooting through that gap. Uh, speaking of which, uh, that would be Doc, who doesn't usually shoot things, but I'd better give you the option. Yeah, I'm kind of waiting to hear the cry for medic, so we'll just yeah. kind of crawl forward a little bit and wait. Yeah, no worries. Uh, keep your head down and keeping in cover, are we? Yes. Suit. That's yes. What you need. Yeah, you need a screen, dude, to keep yourself camouflaged. Okay, so uh, by my count, that would be Cat. You're next, I believe. All righty. Uh, what is that red token down there? That's Doc. <laughs> okay, cool. Yep, gotcha. I mean, you could uh, shoot it if you wanted to, but... You're not going to get any healing if you do. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. So, hmm. Come on, quick. Is uh, cat is going to? What is her run? It's thirty. So one, two. Where are you planning on going? Up there, if I could make it uh, one, at two, a 30 run. Yeah, about you get to there. But that cool. would be a full run. Yeah, full absolutely. Run to there. Uh, so, no way. yeah, she would be looking out across the open plane there to make sure there's nothing that's going to shoot her in the back. Uh, and so you're you're facing away from the do from the from the robot. Well, she would she would look as she was running, but end up face facing that way. Yeah. Okay. Unless she saw something. Unless she saw something. Yes. Right. Um, well, when you get to there, I, it's hard to see, but those two nines. Uh, I do. Ah, uh, the the two tank-looking things. Yeah. Well, yeah, those yep, ones. Yep, they're they're yep. they're actually uh, they're actually hover cycles. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Do they have any weapons on them? Don't appear to. Okay. Uh, so yes. Uh, other than that, um, I don't think there's anything else worth reporting to you at this point. Um, cool. No, no. There's nothing else worth worth reporting to you in that regard. Okay. Uh, and finally, um, Bim Bam. Uh, Bim Bam is going to head after Cat to, to cover Cat. Okay. Well, you certainly make it to the corner of that building, the, the southern corner of the building, definitely. Okay. Yeah, probably a bit further. If, if you wanted to go a bit further, you could probably get a bit further. It's up to you. We'll just go to that. And the, all right. So. 
and screen is on just to make sure. <laughs> Thank you. So, who's that at the tail of the helicopter there? Yes. That's Jason. Right. Okay. You can tell by the kind of like wing like. Yeah, it's a bit small for my eyesight. <laughs> my, my, I, my eyes are going. I'm getting. I'm getting old. I need. I need new glasses. I'm just calling I'm that by memory because I can't see it either. Yeah, I'm old. I'm old and decrepit. Okay, leave me alone. <laughs> so um, here's what happens. Um, here's what happens. The robot. Oh, this is going to be interesting. The robot shoot, is going to shoot at Cat with its auto pistol and hits for ten points of damage, impact damage. Aye. Uh it's going to flail with two of its tentacles at um, Babu, uh, striking both times. The first time for three points of impact, impact damage, and the second time, whoops, that was a percentage, not a, the second time for 16 points of impact damage. And the skein suit will absorb half of that. Half of those, yes. Uh, half of those rounds. Three and sixteen, so up. that would be one and points. eight. One and one eight. eight. One and eight points. to you, and yeah, two and eight to the two and eight to the to the suit. If the suit's got any left, um, the actually it's going to fire its second auto pistol at Cat as well. This one misses though, Cat. Awesome. And it's going to launch its rocket at um, at um, Jazz. That's fair. He did do a lot of damage to... He really. did do a lot of... Uh, that one... No, I've got a scatter to worry about now. Bugger. Hang on. It's going to go where? It's going to hit going the homicide. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Well, it ends up uh, landing, be, uh, landing effectively in the middle of uh, jazz, and, not jazz, of uh, jazz and um, Doc. I think that's you, Doc, in the blue, is it? No, who's the blue? No, it's you, Vogue, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Mm. Doc and uh, of the jazz and Vogue. So you're both in the in the area of the rocket. So that's 8d10 each. Give me a second. Do we get a reflex save? Yes. Cool. So you have your reflex saves, boys. Uh, so Jazz gets half his damage. I'm about to call out to him. Uh, he failed that. Oh, I did too. Sorry, you did too. I hate um, to be honest and get a full 8d10, but... <laughs> yeah. Uh, 49, 49 points to Jazz as the rocket goes off. Oh, 49. Mm -hmm. Um, Vogue? Yeah, it, it, is skin, it is impact damage, so skin suit does help. Uh, connect screen to help. Uh, Vogue, you're in uh, range of this rocket as well. I need a reflex save, a, a reaction speed check, please. To see if you can avoid half the 8d10 damage. Of course I do. <laughs> oh, uh, a critical success. Well done. Do I jump on top of the rock? Uh, no, because the rocket lands, lands in between the two of you. Uh, so, uh, uh, 19 points, that, it, that already includes the half damage. Um, and if you've got a, a, a kinetic a skin suit or a kinetic shield, of course, it'll, you'll take half that again. Uh, this rocket, this this robot's out for death, out for blood, obviously. So while you're recording that damage, I will get everybody to roll me initiative for the next round, please. Skin suit's gone. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, I carry my second on me. 
Yeah, but getting it on, putting it on is going to take a, take a moment. Um, give me, I just got to go AFK for a sec, one sec. Oh, the weight, the weight service is good here. Just got a nice piece of uh, cinnamon roll delivered to me. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's afternoon tea time. So if you hear me munching away, it's right, I'm going to be munching on. Right, so initiatives. Did we ever anyone roll initiative? Yes, we did. And the robot gets to roll as well. Okay, and so it looks like Jazz, you're up at, on a 15. All right. Uh, um, does Jazz normally fire over Babu's head, or is that a stupid question? Um, uh, well, the answer, yeah, he the does. I got the scar the to prove it. <laughs> the answer to that is yes to both of those. Yes, he does, and yes, it's a stupid question. Well, I can't, I can't misplay J Jazz by walking around sensibly. Uh, so <laughs> Jazz is, J Jazz is going to take a shot at this robot. Hopefully, it finishes okay. him off. Okay, well, yeah, he's got he's got uh, soft cover, i.e. Babu. Hey, it's pretty hard cover. <laughs> Babu we're talking about. There's no, uh, there's no, no, there's not, there's no bone inside Babu. It's all, it's all muscle and fluid and true, organs. True. So soft cover. I was right the first time. Uh, cover soft. All right. Range eight, no more than eight. Uh, Jazz will take careful aim. I'm glad. He does care about Babu. I'm glad. That's it. That's a critical failure. Hey, that I like yes. Yep. It it could that's be worse. A critical, critical, critical <laughs> failure. Yeah, you could be standing in front of him. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, you better roll me the ten dice damage, please. How's your hit points looking, uh, um, Babu? He's got an albedo screen. Oh, wait a minute. I do have the gauze screen. A gauze screen? Better not be a gauze no, screen. Albedo. Albedo. Okay. Albedo, albedo, albedo <laughs> screen. That's 11 power points right there. That's a lot. That's 11, it's 11, it's 11, power, 11 SEU from my count. Uh, the second one, Pedro. Although the first one would be interesting. Uh, dear. Um, so, did you have an LB there, Scream? Me. Did you? Yes, yes. All right, so did you? Points. Good, fine. Okay. Um, basically, it was a perfect headshot, nicely done. Jazz, just on the wrong target. Well, Jazz was not taking that decision any other way, I don't think. Yeah. And unfortunately, um, it went bad, like it always does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <coughs> uh, Pedro, you have... you Pedro, you have... Sorry. Doc, you have seen... Um, yeah. Uh, you have seen um, a, a missile go off and hurt... Uh, at least two of your members. You uh, have heard the grunt over the comm from uh, Babu, and um, you uh, and your actions up. What are you going to do? Okay, well we'll sprint forward. So my movement rate's five, so I can move what uh, four? Uh, yeah, at least. Probably a bit further if you wanted to, but I mean that's okay. If you want to move to there, it's cool. Uh, uh, if that's all you're doing, yeah. Well, we gotta um, gotta get close before we can treat them. That's fine. Voke, you're up. Uh, I'm going to take cover behind the hover. 
<laughs> right, so you're reloading. Not a problem. Cerise, I think you're up next. All right. She's going to move up around the corner and uh, three shots with her gyro. Okay. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, um, fourteen three meters. Shots when you move? I'm sorry? Can you make three shots when you moved? Yeah, but he's got to take the movement penalty. Yeah, so walking. Yeah, you got to take the walking penalty. Uh, I can't find that. Range is medium. Uh, walking's ten, I think. Or maybe, maybe, I can't remember. Um, I don't see it here. Only if the target's moving. Oh, where is it? Hang on. There's a plus hang on, hang on. I'm running. If I'm running, it's plus 10. Yeah, okay. That must have been it then. Again, it's been a while since I played last. <laughs> and apparently, I don't have it in my hotbar, so let me grab it. I'll take your shot. Sir. And so it should be minus 25 on the other, so I'm going to roll without modifiers. And you're using BIM, and you're still using BIM BAM. That is why there wasn't the attack on my hotbar. Mm-hmm. Oh, one hit. That one's without the modifier. Oh, it is too. So you missed three times. Okay, bugger. Not a problem. And I'm done. And you're done. Uh, Cerise, 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 Baboo. Oh, you know me. I'll just take another swing. Swing and a miss. No, swing and a no. hit. No, yeah. Okay, the, 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 the robot is heavily wounded. Uh, and you take another 14 points of electrical damage from its defense screen. Cat, uh, I think you're up next, I believe. No, you're not. You're way down the list. Bim Bam, you're up. Dan? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, so oh, you, I no, I wasn't if, was if, if I'd lost comms. Nope, I just forgot I was playing Bim Bam. Um, <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. It's okay. So I'm going to move up to the corner behind Jazz and scanning... Um, behind Jazz? Actually, you know what? Uh, I was going to say behind Cat. But I'm, I actually want to open the door here. What, into 10? Into 10. All right, hang on a sec. Uh, I can't remember what's in 10. The weapons. Um, <laughs> throw in a fire okay. grenade. And in this okay, case, 10 okay. does go to 11. It, 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 you threw it through a door. Um, it, appears to be an, it appears to be some sort of office. Um, and it also appears to be empty. I'll give you more details later, okay? Okay. okay. Cool. She's gonna fire a burst on the robot. Okay. One, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Seven. Yeah, no. Mm, no, no. That's so outrageous. That's outrageous. And the robot gets to have another go. Um That's outrageous. <laughs> Have, we haven't seen it reloading its little rockety thing, right? It only appeared to have one for now. It's only launched one. Okay. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Babu would know. He, it's right in front of him. If there was another rocket coming. <laughs> okay. It shoots once at Cerise and hits. It shoots once at Cat and hits. Yes, I know they're opposite directions. It's able to do it. Okay. Uh, five points to Cerise and two points to Cat. Um, it flails at Babu with its two tentacles, uh, hitting the first and missing the second. So you only take eight points of damage. Uh, four after and the suit, right? No, four total. You, oh yeah, four after the suit, yeah. That's right. Uh, and uh, it launches another rocket towards Jazz. It's got more rockets. Thanks, Babu. <laughs> <laughs> and misses. It's not very good with the rocket. Okay, how far is it going? Uh, goes that far. Uh, oops, Doc! Oh, you! No. You're in the blast radius, mate. I need you a, re skin suit. A, a reaction speed check for dodging, please, to start with. Okay, uh, where is that? It's under movement? RF, no, it's, it's, primary ability. It, it's one of your main abilities. One of your eight. Yes! Nice. Yes, managed to dodge. Uh, other than that, uh, so you only take you only take 17 points of damage. Uh, if you've got a skin suit or a, a anything else like that, uh, you can halve that again. Okay, and round it up, down? Uh, round down, uh, you did, if uh, you take uh, the lower half, the, the suit takes, or the screen takes the, the, the extra point. Okay, thank you. That's okay. Uh, and initiatives, please, people. Oh, now Babu's rolling. Mm-hmm. Are all the para ones? <laughs> Not good, Doc. You're up. Okay, so let's see. Who's most injured? That would probably be Babu, right? Yep. Probably. I'm kind of busy that. right now. <laughs> yeah, he's probably kind of busy right now. <laughs> You're a gay man. Yeah, so I'm um, running up there. <laughs> yeah, One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> mm. he's, a, he's brave. For a pacifist, he's very, very brave. Okay, so that's Doc, um, and then Voke. Well, people are just getting in the way of my shot. This is annoying. Oh, you, you could do it. You could do what Jazz does and shoot through them. As long as you're using laser. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I don't. Ah, good joke. All right, I we're did gonna not try and get shoot the all of them. I think it's perfect no, time for grenades. Fatal screen because of what the enemy might have. Grenades? Yeah, no, uh, I think I might have a tangler. Nope, I'm out of tangler grenades. I got those grenades. You want those? Uh, a robot? I yeah, I don't think it's going to work on a silicon, do Are you sure? <laughs> uh, yeah. Only one way to find out. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm going to shoot it with a automatic, my, my rifle. Do... Okay, seriously, you've got um, two people in there. It's at least soft cover, and I don't think you've got some line of sight from where you're standing anyway at the moment. Yeah, that's worse. You shoot. That's even worse. You're shooting through the <laughs> building. No, there. Yeah, there you can do it. Yeah, just peek out from right. the cover and take a shot. Yeah, but yeah, I think you've got you've got two people in the two people in the road there. How hard would it be to shoot through them? 
Jazz has proved quite that it's quite difficult. <laughs> Is there space to run up the or no? no, not now. Your best bet would be going in through 11, opening that door. Alright, he'll take out his four sats and start going that way. Uh, let's see, I run 25. Mm, should I get the door? Right there? No, no, right back one. Yep, that door. You gotta open that door first. It's a double door. So that's a geodesic dome, that one. What does that mean? A geodesic dome? You ever seen a geodesic dome? It Mr. looks Park. like a bunch of six-sided panels. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Or triangles and things like that. Triangles and pentagons. It's a... It's a um, yeah. Half half so. Sorry, say again. Mentor Fuller is awesome. Yeah. Half yeah, half yeah. of a 20-sided die. Yeah, that's close to close, something close to that. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, so that was uh, that was. Um, Vogue. Vogue. Yeah. Sorry. I think who was that? <laughs> that was Vogue. Uh, so uh, that would be Jazz. All right. He's sick of getting no. shot at with rockets. Uh, so <laughs> Funny that. He's he's gonna follow in through Vogue and open up. That second door. Well, the first guy in the first door first, but yes, he's going oh, going in that so, way. Isn't he? Yeah. Okay. So we've got the annoying thing of door takes a round to open. Got it. Yep. We well, don't get a round for only a couple of seconds. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. Who's next? That was um, Cat. Cat is mm -hmm. going to expend the rest of her clip on one final burst. Have you got enough? Have you got enough bullets for a final burst? Yeah, she she it. Or is a, it a, a short burst? burst? A, a burst takes ten bullets. The clip has twenty, so she gets two bursts per clip. All right. But she'll have to reload after this. Mm-hmm. Or yeah, well, go on. You know the range. What the? Oh, how does this happen two times in the one fight? Way to go! You're you're doing great today. What? I'm doing These great guys today. hate me. <laughs> These guys hate you. Oh, I ha and 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 for the record, I have not been mucking around with the dice coding, the dice code. Okay. It should not happen. But anyhow, am I rolling extra dice for the two other people beside? Is that how bursts work? I don't think I've ever critically failed a burst before, but it sounds like I probably hit Babu. No, no, you haven't hit Babu. No, no, no. Okay, cool. No, no, I no. hit three. You are, you are gonna, yeah, you hit three. You're gonna roll me some damage, <laughs> please. Damage, please. All right. Cerise. Yep. You're in the crossfire. Fired. That's uh, pretty 35. good for a five D ten. It's not bad at all. Yeah, thirty-five <laughs> points of thirty-five points of impact damage, uh, Cerise. Thank you. All right, I'm crossfires. Not crossfires are good. Crossfire, cr crossfires <laughs> are good, but not when someone's standing exactly opposite. <laughs> oh enough. dear. Uh, who's next? That would be Babu. Come on, Babu, do some damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta take him out now. There yeah. you go. He's quite good at hitting, isn't he? Uh, yes, the force axe does slice through the robot, uh, and the robot goes down in a uh, a bunch of uh, uh, sparks and arcing circuitry. Uh, you take a final 24 electrical points of damage from the force field. Ow. What was that for, Cat? Oh, I was trying to delete that off my hotbar, and I accidentally clicked it. That's cool. Uh, I say yes, but the uh, the droid is uh, the droid is gone. Do we hear a call for medic? 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> medic, medic, medic. Several Oosh. calls for medic. Who's first? Uh, are you guys re regrouping? Um, the uh, the room you the room that 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 Jazz and um, Voke uh, have entered into is half a half a room. Uh, it's um, empty, uh, but obviously there's a door further in. Um, there is a bench, um, or two benches, one to either uh, one to either side of the inner door. Um, the room that Babu, uh, that Bim Bam looked into, um, is uh, uh, appears to be an office, as I said. Uh, it's empty. Uh, ceiling lights and papers and other trash on the floor. Along the walls, there is a small power outlet that might be used for office equipment. There's no light, no windows, and the east and west walls both have doors. And you said papers on the floor, like somebody quickly left. Yeah, there's no there's no furniture. Um, but yeah, it looks like a room that someone's pulled out of. Okay. All right, so what are you guys doing in general now? Cerise is uh, taking cover and standing guard. She's yep, reloaded gotcha. her weapons. Good. Yeah, I'm going to do uh, first aid on Babu. Uh, mm -hmm. We need a little bit more than first aid. But that's... Yeah, but you start, out, you start with first aid. So ten points back, Babu. Don't forget to knock off the the um bio court. The bio court, please. Thank you, Doc. Anyone else hurt? Yeah, Cerise is. Yep. Can I put on my new skin suit? Yes, you have time now. Ten point Cerise. And Vogue. And Vogue, I think Jazz needs it too, don't you, Jazz? Jazz. Yeah, he does. That that twenty six out of sixty is actually it's twenty six out of fifty for Jazz. Sorry. Yeah, Vogue is down fifteen points. Well first aid's gonna help. No. Stop stabbing me in the ass. In the eye. Uh, and you take ten points of damage. God damn it! Can I get first aid again? Uh, not from Doc. You can't. That's the loving touch, baby. Anyone else want? It? <laughs> Anyone else want some of that? Um, uh, Cat and Jazz both need for, uh, both need help. Jazz will okay, administer Kat. first aid to Vogue. Mm hmm. Uh, okay, so. With your luck, I Doc, you were stab. Okay, hang on a sec. We'll slow down. Doc, that was for Cat. So Cat gets 10 points back, yes. So I don't know if minor surgery or first aid. Well, you always gotta do first aid first. Well, I already did it once. I don't know if I can do oh, it. Oh, yeah, okay. You can only you, you can only do first aid once. And that was okay. Hang on. So, vote gets ten points from Jazz. That last first aid roll was for whom? That was for on myself because I took the rocket blast. Yep, that's cool. And I still think, and I still think, jazz, jazz is down. Jazz hasn't had first aid yet. Can I give so jazz first aid? I thought I stabbed him in the eye. No, that was Vogue. You stabbed him in the eye. Oh, sorry, Vogue. Happen yeah, well, he's got an eye. He's got a, a place where blood vessels congregate. To, yeah, yes. I don't even know the people 
you're stabbing. How rude. That's for Jazz. <laughs> That's for Jazz. So 10 points for Jazz. So everybody's had first aid. You only have first aid once per injury session. So if anyone's still down points, now you start talking minor or major surgery. Leave Babu's down 48. Yeah, well, that's a major surgery for Jeff. Surgery. All right, uh, Cerise yeah, is probably a burn. Yeah, Cerise is probably minus, uh, probably a minor surgery at fifteen. Jazz probably is a minor surgery. Cat, I don't know. For five points, Cat, what do you reckon? Uh, cat, um, can Jazz do first aid? No, one set of first aid. Yeah, per it's not it's not per character. Yeah, got it. No, it's uh, per. I it's think per it's probably injury. it's probably wor worth just leave cat with five points down. Right. It's not worth the minor surgery, I don't think. Well, that's by my count, that's minor surgery on Voke, on Cerise, on Jazz. I don't know about Doc and major surgery on Babu. Is that right? Does that sound right? Yep. Uh, can stabbing me again. Jazz can assist with the major surgery to make it a little bit easier. Jazz can assist on the minor surgeries too, except and for the minor. Yep. Yep. Okay. Going by triage. Wait, Who's first? The, the last time Jazz did <laughs> surgery on me. <laughs> He's just it's assisting a, this mind. time. He's just <laughs> assisting this time. <laughs> Alright, so what was that? That's the major surgery. Um, how many points were you down? Uh, 48. How many points? 48. So that's five bio courts and a, uh, an anesthesia. Was that on Sarita? Uh, no, that was on uh, whoever's got the yeah. equipment, whoever's got, got the uh, stuff. Babu. And, and uh, Babu is completely healed. He's ready to be shot in the back again. Yep. Exactly. Yep. I mean, wait, what? Huh? Yeah, yes. you didn't even need the doc for that one. Nice work, Jazz. <laughs> Jazz is just trying to make amends for his own damage. Um, and <laughs> who's next? Uh, you want mi minor. And so does Volk, but he doesn't really feel like getting stabbed. I'll give it a rest. Be brave. <laughs> okay, so I guess just going from left to right. Voke is passing. Uh, Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Hang on, is Voke passing? Uh, I'm, I'm down by 15. I mean, it, it... You need it. I could use it, yeah, but I also don't All want right, to so... stab. Yeah, yeah, well... Be brave. It's the risk you take. So, minor on Voke. Okie dokie. Please, Doc. Successful. Two bio courts and an anesthetic. Voke, you are uh, fully healed. Yeah. Doc, what about yourself? How far are you down? That's a good question. I'm down five. Probably not worth it then. At this stage. Up to you, you're the doctor. Ah, he'll naturally choose someone else. Okay, Bim Bam? He's fine. Cat? Cat was just five points down, so we were saying that All it right. wasn't worth it. That's right. Jazz? Uh, Jazz is... What is Jazz Th now? Jazz Therese? is... Yes, 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 yes. Is 14 points down, so he could use a minor surgery. Okay, here Minor we go, surgery jazz. for Jazz. <laughs> yep. Uh, two bio court and an anesthetic. And Jazz is fully healed. And we need a minor on Cerise as well. I know that for a fact. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, well done. Um, 
so it's a minor, it's a, uh, a, a, a two bio core and an anesthetic for Cerise, and Cerise is fully healed. So where are we going? What are we doing, guys? How are we on BioCourt right now? That's a good question. Uh, I've used 33. Yeah, out of how many, though? Jazz has... I honestly don't know. Jazz has 30 BioCourt and 4 anesthetic left. All right. I got 20 BioCourt and 10 anesthetic. All right. I got a kit that I carry for you guys. Okay. And there's Somebody 20... Do you want to add those to them and take them from me? Well, hang on a sec. Doc, you had... Your kit... Medikit has 20 BioCourt to start with. Did you have any extra? Mm, I just started with what I was given. I have a right. skin suit no, and no, 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 no. med kit. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. So you've used all out of your med kit and you've used 13 from elsewhere. So, so how there's seven more BioCourt for you that you have now and I have no more. There you go. How much was that again? Seven. seven. Plus whatever and Jazz is carrying. So we're running low. We sh yeah, I guess I have to behave myself. Right. Yeah, well, you, well, you you weren't expecting the defense screen, were you? Not really. But I've learned to expect lots of unexpected things from. <laughs> now, careful! You don't, you don't go di don't go disparaging the GM. Is that disparaging? Is it? I don't know. No, I was just getting in, getting in quick. <laughs> uh, there's usually 10 anesthetic in a med kit. Okay, so um, we're good there. So we're good there. Um, you want 10 more is, anesthetic? It, it is. It is listed. It is listed in the uh, equipment list, but I don't know whether you've seen the equipment list. It's uh, in the system. Anyway, it's no big deal. As long as we, as long as we, we've got it, we haven't we haven't used it all up. That's all. So where are, we, where are you going into, guys? Because at the moment, Bim Bam's in this empty office and um, Cerise is in a bush. Um, I'm assuming cover. Um, yes. And Voke uh, is in, an, in a small room and everybody else is hanging around. It feels like we should uh, explore 11 and 14 uh, just because that's where the robot came from, so... And we're right near it, so exploring those would be good. All right, so who, who's exploring 11? So uh, Jazz will go through. He'll open right. up the door to 11. All right. Um, there is a large tub with what appears to be plumbing connections. Uh, yep. Uh, uh, incidentally, both rooms in that geodesic dome uh, show evidence of that uh, show evidence that other plumbing-related equipment was once located here. Uh, the wall material, by the way, is hard, opaque plastic. There are no windows. Okay. Uh, so it's about uh, 15 minutes in diameter, okay? Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, there's no light except for what's coming through the door. No light, okay. And it, well, there's no light unless you, find, unless you find and turn on a light switch, assuming there's yeah. power. Yeah. So yeah, there's no light. Okay. Jazz will... He's, I'm pretty sure... Let me check... Uh, Jazz has, um, uh, where is his, does, he has IR goggles, but does he have a torch? No light or a torch? He, he would have starlight. Oh, he doesn't have a torch. 
Uh, but he has starlight on his goggles, so would that be enough to see in here, even though it's dark? Oh, with the yeah, with the door opening, it would be. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he'll go in and open up that door. Just make sure there's nothing there. He can't see Cerise on the other side. Is Cerise still over there, or yep. did she come back and regroup to get healing? Well, okay. I came back for healing unless the doc came to me, but I'm standing guard out here. Okay. That's cool. Cool. Uh, okay. With that, he'll probably walk over to here and open up that door. Okay. So the east wall of this empty room is slightly concave, as it shows. Uh, there are closed doors I don't know where <laughs> according to the description but not according to the map according to the description there are closed doors on the north west and south uh, the south door is obviously missing so we'll say north and west as I said this oh, okay, badly, yeah. written, badly written I'm going to have to rewrite this thing uh, when I finally get around to it um, you have the map oriented right yes I had the map oriented correctly Although, although, thank you for checking, because occasionally I've been known not to, as you are aware. Well, I'm just saying. So south is up, right? Like every the, good uh, Australian map. Or next to dark. <laughs> oh, 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 now that's Cerise. I think you've just marked yourself. I think you and Bim Bam have just marked yourselves for for termination with a comment like that. Well, am I wrong? Is not every yes. good. You are Australian wrong. Australian map south on the top. No. No. <laughs> Equipment such as communication gear, panels, switching units, and connections, connect doors, sorry, lie on the floor. Crates stand about the room. Those that are open are either empty or contain additional equipment. A large viewing screen dismounted is propped against the east wall uh, and of course the lights are turned off okay uh, Jazz is keen to just make sure there's no hostiles in here so he probably walks through and open up that internal door and just clear out this area okay like a large screen TV I could put in my path, huh? Yeah, somebody might want to be going with Jazz. Yeah, I thought everybody was. I got it, yeah. Apart from you, Cerise. Oh, oh, oh! <clears throat> the west wall of this ten foot, ten by fifteen meter room, is slightly curved. Open crates stand about, as well as complex units of bent metal bars. In the northwest corner of the room is a large square shaft. Okay. Uh, that's 17, by the way. Um, something is moving in the shaft. Um, can I get a reaction speed check off you, please, Jazz? Off oh, Cat, sorry. Off oh, Cat? Well, whoever that in the door. Oh, that would be Jazz. It was Jazz, sorry. Pardon me. Okay, here's what's happening. Um, as you watch uh, a... A, uh, a Vrusk 
uh, pokes its head up out of the shaft and aims a laser pistol at you, uh, obviously the intent to fire, up, fire upon you. Uh, what would you like to attempt to do? Die for cover. I was asking you. So, the, 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 this frost has like come up the shaft, like it's an elevator shaft, or there's a ladder and it's crawling up that, or something like that. Or there's a platform partly partially down, and she was, uh, and the bus was ducked down, and it's, it's poked up like you know from behind a, a bunk, a lot from behind a, 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 a trench, a wall, yeah, maybe. Either way, she's got pretty good cover. Only the shoulder and head is showing. Quick, what are you doing? Yeah, all right. Uh, Jazz will step out of the way and wait for it to come out to us. Uh, is he stepping forward or back? Right. Can I get a reaction speed check, please? To see whether yes. you can step out of the way before she can shoot you. Or he can shoot you, I should say. Okay. Um, as you step out of the way, a single laser uh, laser bolt uh, does um, cast, pass very close to your head. Um, do you wish to close that door at all? Abu, step up and swing. I figured we're just going to th throw a grenade in there and close the door. What are you doing, bad? <laughs> You're there. I want to swing at him, man. Nobody shoots at you. You cut out a little bit there. I said nobody <laughs> shoots at jazz, so I'm going to take a swing at it. Well, step forward. So as you're moving forward, she manages to hit you for 21 points with her laser pistol. Be... Five points of charge. That would be five points of energy, correct. And you may take a swing. What's that? You may swing it up. Okay, you want me to re-roll that then? Oh, sorry, no, I didn't, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. No, that's fine. Yep, okay, so uh, you roll damage in if you like. Okay, she's moderately wounded. I used to be able to chop people in half, you know? Used to, but you're not doing very good at it, <laughs> good at it now. Um, you better give me an initiative roll, please, uh, Babs. <laughs> wow. You get much better than that. You don't get much better than that. Um, and everybody else better roll me too, just in case. Uh, Cerise, all you can hear is you can hear the sound of a laser shot and um, Babu yelling his war cry. Gotta come up with a war cry, don't I? <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, why do I give them ideas? Why? Why do I give my ideas? <laughs> uh, actually, I did think about it before we started when I saw Abu when you put him on large on the map. Yeah. Yeah, what, what was that dwarf one Gimli used to shout out? <laughs> I don't know. But it to be the I right just... character, though. Yeah. All right, Babs, take a swing if you're going to take a swing. You've got, a, you've got an issue. If. And you oh. missed. You missed. My turn. Um, so she. Uh, hang on, can I pull this off? Yes, I can. Uh, she drops Wait, the laser pistol. Hey. She drops the uh, laser pistol and uh, quick draws two auto pistols, firing both at you, one each. Uh, the first one critical hits and the second one <laughs> critical misses. <laughs> you can't 
get what is, what is the target size on that anyway? target size uh melee doesn't matter you it's effectively say the same uh, oh, normally okay. it'd be heavy heavy cover but i mean it's it's it's, it's um it's uh face to face doesn't matter uh but the the auto pistol the critical auto pistol hits you for twenty points. And the other one, the other one jams in her hand, and she swears at it. Well, he swears at it. You can't deal with the rusk. I'm used to saying she because of Cerise. So, uh, Pedro, well, Pero, sorry, not Pedro, my fault. Pero, you're. What do you want to do? Well, I haven't heard any screams in pain, so we'll just wait. Okay, Jazz. Alright, uh, Jazz hears Babu having some fun. Uh, he's gonna <laughs> walk around the corner and uh, draw his sonic sword. Do you want to take a slash at her? Yes, please. Okay, well. Here we go. I'm going to put a couple of penalties on it just because you um, not direct line charge and the rest of it, but that's all right. You should be okay. Yeah, with that roll, you're okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's okay. Ring. Uh, that's not right. That's Hold better. Whoa, that's too many dice. Yeah, Hang it on. looks too many dice. You want to re you want to retry that? It, sh it should be five. Yeah, that's more than five, dude. Oh, bugger. And that should be plus three on that. So, 26. Yeah. Oh, sorry, bit loud. You guys hear that or not? No. Hear what? Yeah, okay, that's playing up, right? I have to look at that later. Sounds a little bit like the bubbler in uh aquarium. Yeah, no, that's something else. Uh and that and she dies. Excellent. Well, he dies. He dies, she dies, it dies, whatever. Uh Jazz peeks his head down the shaft and Checks yeah, there's no other baddies down there. No, there is a platform um, a few feet down, down, um, uh, and there is a couple of foot buttons on the platform. Ah, okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, there's also a laser pistol and two auto pistols. Cool. Uh, does it does it look like there's a call button for the elevator, or can it only be operated on the platform? It looks like it only be operated on the platform. Okay. okay. Now we go down. Or do you want to do you want to make sure nothing else is behind you first? Yeah, I would like to probably bring the elevator right up to the top, uh, and then we'll just go make sure there's nothing out up top here first. That's what Jazz probably thinks. Uh, he's happy to be overruled, but maybe before we descend down into this dungeon, for me. we, we want to check out everything else. Dungeon? Dungeon? We're not playing a fantasy game, thank you. <laughs> well, if we were, we'd cast in large uh, person on the uh, on Babu, and he would mm. wreck terror. Um, yeah. He is wrecking An terror. underground asset. <laughs> Uh, got, he got a little first aid, maybe. Oh, I think you were hit. a call for first aid? Ah, uh, just need ten points. That works. 
Was there any ammunition uh, on this guy? Uh, another player caught Doc, that's great. Um, uh, well, the auto pistols and the laser pistol are loaded. They've obviously had some shots taken out of them. Yep, okay. Yep, but no extra magazines or clips or anything. Cool. Nope. Are you taking the pistols? Uh, Cat wouldn't mind having the pistols. Uh, we could share, we could, Cat could take a pistol and Voke could take a pistol. Uh, if Voke would like a automatic pistol as a sidearm. Voke? Let me go see if I can uh. find it. <laughs> And was that one shot taken from each pistol? Yes, one shot from each pistol. And a f and four SEU, four SEU used out of the laser pistol. Come on, this is this is a group. This is a group that would scavenge anything because they were so piss poor that they couldn't afford. Yeah. Oh, how the mighty have changed. He's already got a auto pistol. And Babu's been around long enough to know he ain't no good with them anyway, so... <laughs> yeah, you always sell them. Yeah, maybe with, on Burst you'd be better, Babu. <laughs> uh, would anybody like a laser pistol? <laughs> with 16 SEU? If uh, not, just keep to it for now. take the clip? Put it in yeah. your pocket, we'll keep it for... Put it in your pocket, keep it for now. Best we can do there. So where are you going? What are you doing, people? I'm waiting for everybody to come out of the building. So we can search the other buildings. I assume there's no other buildings to the north? Uh, only the one you can see. All right. Um, is it? Uh, it. Jazz might m recommend to Cerise to come into the spare parts room to see if there's anything useful in there. Whether she recognizes any of those parts. Um, well, let's take a clear, quick duck in there. Let's clear things first, right? Yeah. Before okay. Before more bad guys show up, let's clear the other buildings, and then we can. And I'd like to check on uh, Max. Yeah, well, Max is a fair way away. I know he's under Jeff, a tree, he's under a tree, but you know, it's going to take Jeff's you quite a few minutes. Jeff, want to go in one of those buildings, and I'll go in the other, and Cat and. Would, yeah, you really want to split up? Hang on, slow, slow down, slow, for me. No, slow down. not gonna, not gonna split up. <laughs> we'll keep the party together. Well, I'm guessing this is seven and eight. You can guess what you like. I think we should, yeah, go those two ways. You back? All right. Didn't realize you'd gone. Sorry. All right. So you're going to go in the. You're going to go in seven or eight. You're going to go in both of them simultaneously. Simultaneously. Okay. So this one, the one on the left, the one on the west, uh, no, the one on the right uh, is dusty. Uh, it's a 25 meter by 15 meter room. It has several temporary interior walls which have collapsed. There are no lights. Uh, the doors in the slightly curved southern and northern walls, as you can see. All right. I assume we're waiting for everybody else to go on the other one. Yeah. Uh, the other one uh, contains uh, rows of bunks lined both sides of this 
15 by 25 metre room. Most have crumpled and stained mattresses. Empty containers, spilled liquids and papers litter the room. A few open foot lockers are at the ends of the bunks and several are stacked in corners. Otherwise the room is empty, sort of. The lights are off but a glow emanates from the walls. Are both doors open? No. The recording might have been royally screwed up. So, are you, are you, are you, what are you doing, Babs? I was going to throw a grenade over to that other room, but... Oh, no, the door's not open. The robot went through, but it's closed. Yeah, closed behind him, yeah. All right, yeah. well... I will move to that door then. Okay. And are you triggering and the door? And open it. You're triggering the door. Okay, not a problem. Door will be open for action next round. Uh, Jazz and Cat, both exactly simultaneously, because you both got the same initiative and the same. I know that. Jazz first. No, sorry, Bim Bam and Cat. I'll write the first time. Bim Bam and Cat. Alright, uh, if Cat fires a burst, will it also hit the guy in the, in no. the bunker? It no, won't. they're too far away. Uh, they're very yeah, closer than that. They're not, yeah, yeah, I'm, my brain still thinks two meters. Yep, yes, got it. I know. No. Uh, cool. She'll follow suit with Voke and take three shots. Single shots? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love these robots, eh? Hey? Yes. Miss. Miss. And a hit. Yay, a lousy D10 of damage. Hey, it all builds up. Yep. Total. <coughs> uh, okay. Uh, Bim Bam? 
Are you? Bim, yeah, so moved. Bim Bam came over here. I think that's as far as he can move. Um, yeah. The plan is to do telekinesis on the the uh, foot lockers that the Yazirian is using as cover. Oh, okay. How long that takes. Okay, you know, uh, we can do that. Yeah, sounds good. Get rid of the cover. We'll, we'll, yeah, smart move. Exactly. So I don't know oh, if he okay. can do that this turn. Probably not because no, he ran. Not this turn. No, no, because he's got to, it takes a round to, you know, he's got to look at it. But yeah, he's got here. But no, certainly next round. Good idea. Damn good idea. Okay. Um, Doc, still staying out of the line of fire? Yeah, well, uh, there's certainly somebody's been injured, so we'll move towards the door. You move towards the door. Okay. Can you Jazz move that is far? definitely the most in, injured. Yeah, so well, you're running that far. Yeah, you're running I haven't that moved at all, all, so. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. All right, robot. Um, mm, okay. The robot is firing two bursts at the doorway uh, and the rocket at the doorway. Delicious. That's going to hurt. Well, yeah, possibly. Uh, one burst is successful. Second burst is successful. I'll let you know about the rocket in a moment. Definitely killed the doorway. Good job. Uh, check, 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 check. There's only, three, there's only two of you there. Uh, three of you there. That's uh, five, six, seven dice. Are you shooting anybody there? You said you're shooting the doorway. Uh, uh, that's 13 points uh, from the first burst to Bim Bam. Um, uh, Bim Bam, uh, Voke, and Cat. You said 13? 13, 1 3. And is it rounded down to the suit or rounded up to the suit? It's rounded it up to the suit, down point? to you. Of course. Uh, and uh, a further 15 points from the second burst to each of those three individuals. 17. 15. 1, 5. And I'll take uh, reaction speed checks of those three plus Doc, please for half damage from the missile. Doc got it. Vogue didn't. And Cat didn't. I should have brought another skin suit. I should have brought another. <laughs> so, uh, 44 points to Bim Bam. Uh, 54 points to Doc, but you can halve that. So that's uh, 27 to Doc. Uh, 42 points to Voke, 4-2 to Voke. Oh. And Cat, mm. 41. Ouch, there goes the skin suit, probably. Yeah, and I oh. just put this brand new one on. Too far.
Uh, back to the initiatives. Um, yep, okay. Not a problem. Good. Yep. Uh, and finally, Cerise. Uh, door is still closed, right? Yeah, it's open. It, it'll be open by the by the start of next round. Yes. Uh, do we want the other one? I don't know. So I'll just uh, let's get it next. <laughs> let's get it next. So uh, I think we need initiatives of everybody, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. And the guy. Excellent. And the robot. Excellent. Uh, and we'll start with Jazz. Hmm. All right. Could to get the idea down. standing in the doorway is not a good idea. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jazz is going to say, get out of the doorway and uh, <laughs> hold his action for something coming through the doorway and shooting it. Yeah. Uh, so you're ready in action to shoot re ready, something. Coming. Ready in action to shoot something coming through it. All right, no worries. Good. Uh, Cerise, the door is open. Next turn, uh, I'm going to try to disable one. Hang on, before you move through it, before you move through it. That we were throwing grenades. Yeah. Uh, you go for the monkey. Throw a grenade for the monkey. Yeah. Well, well, before you before you can move through the, I mean, as the door opens, before you can actually move through the door. Um, No, a, a burst of auto fire comes from the monkey towards the door, to you, towards you guys at the doorway, but misses both of you. And that was his held action, ready to action. So you guys can move forward now if you wish. Like you said, you're going to, Cerise. Yeah, I'm going to try to disable the robot. I think that's the best thing. Okay. I got your back. So you okay. get rid of the Yazirian. So, Doc... You're up. Okay, so let's take a look here. Who's who's there? There's Ooh. who's well, everyone's in all four of you. And Jazz oh, just said get out of the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry about that. Okay. So that's what Oh. Yeah, I want to give someone first aid, but I'm having a difficult time trying to determine which character is which person. Okay, uh, the blue one is Voke. Uh, Jazz is all the way over on the uh, on the uh, right hand side. Cat uh, is um, the one that's half obscured by Voke, and um, Bim Bam is the one to the four o'clock position. Okay, it's Voke or Cat. Who's more injured, guys? Her. Her. Cat. Okay, Cat. What do you add, Cat? Minus 19? No, I, I, I'm so used to writing stamina in negatives oh. in the... In the well, I thought no, you were you real, you real, Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so ten points back to Cat. Cat, you, you can't do any, you can't move this round. You realise that, don't you? Ouch! Because if you move this round, you won't get the first aid. Yeah, my expected value of standing still might actually be negative. I might need to move. <laughs> uh, so I get, so that's a I have to stand still, or I have to stand still to get the first aid. You have to stand still to get the first aid. Yeah. 
if I take a rocket hit, I am dead, even with that first aid. So uh, I might, I'm probably gonna piss off. Okay. Wasn't the rate of fire one half? Uh, uh, we've gotten a rocket hit every round. Okay. Yeah, he's right. It ha you have you, it, it, the the rate of fire is one one around. How long did it take for you to disarm it? Two turns. One round. Oh. Yeah, two turns. He's oh. got to get the panel open, and he's got to, then he's got to flip the switch. It's easy to do. He's just got to survive long enough to do it. The good news is he may be dis he may distract be distracting the robot long enough because he's coming from the back. Yeah, these robots are like shooting in all directions at the same time. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hopeful that I'm not going to get shot at. Anyway, um, you're up, Cat. What are you doing? She's getting the heck out of the way. Oh, move your token then, if that's the case. In which case, Bim, in which case, Doc, you can give that biocort back to yourself because you're not going to be, you're not going to be able to use it. Your patient didn't hang around long enough. Uh, Babu? Woohoo. Babu. Well, I still have the grenade in one hand, but I got my force axe in the other one, and since Cerise's in the way of throwing, I will just charge in there on him. Okay. Okay, he has got cover, even with the axe, because you, you're fighting across the across the uh, the, um, the, the, the barricade uh, of... I see the axe. Can't hear you, Babs. I placed the axe into the barrier then, obviously. Yeah, with that roll, with that roll you do. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that roll you do, yes. Um... Matt, you go somewhere? Whoa! User in your channel timed out. Yep. Was connection lost? So yeah, the quickest way to disable a robot is for me to get on it, but it takes two turns. So in general, shoot other things if we don't have if we have more than just a robot, and I'll charge in to disable it. Yep. Well, looks like, uh, his, looks internet like might, his internet might have died. Mine too. Somebody had rain. I'll send him a text message and see what's going on. Sounds like the sound is really loud all of a sudden. Yeah, because Matt's uh, echo reduction is gone. <laughs> speaker and since his mic is always yep you're always quieter I don't know whether it's worth it to set everyone back to the normal level to boost them back when Matthew gets back I just turn your mask, mask. Yeah. yeah from 75 to 25 the joys of being deaf, it don't bother me. <laughs> I hear easier now, but I still hear. Yeah. Okay. Coming back up now.
all back in? Yep, I do so. Two, three, four, five, six. I've only got six here. Yeah, just a little laggy. That's right, mate. Not your fault. Sorry about that. The joys of online gaming. Occasionally, folks, it plays up on you. Um, although that was probably because I've got too much running on my box at the moment. I've got things. I had things running in the background. I probably should have shut them down. That's what I get for being too ambitious. I keep telling myself to do that too, but I never do. What? Too ambitious or shut things shuts down? Just shut things down in the background. Mm. So, um, you need to move your token cat because it's been replaced where it was when you come online. There we go. Good. Okay. Um, and the last thing that was happened was Babu put a uh, force axe into the barrier um, at the uh, at the guy. Yep. Uh, at the guy there. Uh, he's already shot at you. <laughs> Who hasn't had an action yet? Because I've lost the initiatives as well. Um, I was. I think. I you had. Gone. You had no, you haven't gone yet, and I don't think Bim Bam's gone yet. Jazz was holding. Yeah, it yeah, was me and Bim Bam. That's right, because we were both like 11 initiative. Yeah, and um, Cerise moved up to the bot, so that's right. So you're next to invoke, and then Bim Bam. Right. Um, what would it take for me to close the door if I wanted to? Uh, hit the button and get out of the way. Okay. Um, now, suppose if I did that, I'd be leaving them to die, right? Uh, well, not necessarily. You'd be leaving them in combat. Whether to leave them to die or not is not a question. Pardon me. No, you take one shot and duck around the doorway. I'll take one shot and then do that. Okay. Let's see, just gotta make sure. You haven't tried to go berserk yet, j uh, Jazz, either. Well, no, you haven't been melee combat, either. Oh, no. nice shot. Almost a crit. So D10 damage, three points. Oh, all helps. Uh, I have to say, it, would that have hit with heavy cover? Yeah. You know how much damage I did to that box. Oh uh, yeah, it's only 20, isn't it? Yeah. Hard? Yeah. Uh, that's 20, so that would still be fine. Yeah, it's still hit. That's what I'm saying. Still hit. Okay, so uh, Bim Bam, what are you doing? Bim Bam is going to back up uh, five meters and then try to telekinete the uh, barriers out of the way. All right, well, give me a... How heavy they are? Uh, no, but I do. But if you give me a psych roll, I'll uh, make the necessary adjustments. Sure, if this is set up, or, yeah, it looks like it is. Maybe, I don't know. I don't think that's set up right. I think it's 25 plus, I think it should be 50, minus 55. Where is this sheep? Hang on. Uh, let's say it's 25 plus skill level times 10 plus math modifier. Yeah, the math, the math modifier. So modifiers for it depends on how, how kilograms is 40. Yeah, yeah. So it depends on how much it how much it weighs. So um, it'd have to be less than one kilogram, which I doubt. No, they're not less than one kilogram, unfortunately. And they're a little bit heavier than that. Nice try. Uh, knock off. Uh, knock off. Um, 
Uh, knock off one set of one set of side points for that. Yeah, um, one per level of U squared. Yeah. What level are you? Three. So that would be nine. Nine. Yep. Uh, and uh, everyone's had a go, so that's initiative, please, people. No, everyone hasn't had a go. The robot hasn't had a go yet. Sorry. Well, but that's Hold yeah, Hold that. Person. Listen, the robot right, the robot right league, the RRL will have a. <laughs> Um, I'll, uh, flail attack, flail attack, I only got one flail, uh, I only flailed you once, um, for five points, um, Cerise? Five points, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and fires at Babu Wow You've obviously distracted it, Cerise Uh, fires six times at uh, Babu, striking only four for a total of 20 points impact damage. Initiative and initiative. So where are the initiative rolls? Here they are. Um, I don't think Bim Bam's. That's an. I don't think that's a proper initiative roll, Bim. Looking at that. Initiative. Yeah, yeah, first one. Mm. Um, so, Jace, 17. All right. Uh, he is going to jump there. <laughs> He's a brave man. Uh, we, given that these are five foot squares, does he have. Uh, that guy's still under heavy cover because the telekinesis yeah. didn't work, didn't he? That's right, that's right. He has got line of sight, though. Yeah, he does have line of sight. Uh, actually, he's not. He's going to stay back uh, because he's not going to waste his uh, SEU on that. He's going to hold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Doc? Yeah, okay, well. So I guess that's uh, Voke there, yeah? Uh, that's Voke in the blue, yes. Okay, we're moving here. You sure you want to move there? Because that door's still open. Okay, we'll move there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a better place. First aid coming your way, Voke. All right. Ten points, Voke. Ten points. Uh, who's next? That would be... I believe that would be... Cerise. Alright, so I opened the access panel. So you got the access panel open? Correct. Well done, Cerise. Uh, and the bot... Uh, flailing at you madly uh, with its tentacles strikes twice 
for a total of 23 points. There's the last of my skin suit. And then fires. Oh, I'll do this easy way. Uh, miss, hit, oh, critical miss. One hit, two hits, and a gem. Okay, so got a critical miss on the fir on its first pistol, so that so that victory nullifies the last, the others. But the other three from the second pistol hit for twenty two points uh, to a Babu of impact damage. Twenty two, so that's eleven. And does not launch a rocket at anybody because it's facing the wrong way. Isn't that fun? Uh, uh, well, I'll have a couple pieces of skin suit on me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think Cat's next, followed by Bim Bam. Or is it Bim Bam followed by Cat? It's Bim Bam followed by Cat. That's fine. Yeah, Bim Bam followed by Cat. And that's everybody, I think. Oh. No, I missed somebody, have I? Babu's oh, last. Babu, yeah, Babu's last. Sorry, Babs. Bim Bam, Cat, and Babu. Bim B and the guy, when the guy fits in his normal spot. Bim Bam? So he's going to try the uh, kinetics again. Okay. Um, let me roll. While I do that... Um, Actually, I'm just going to roll D100. Mm hmm. That says per minute, the telekinesis. Yeah. Do I use up more pep points or not till a minute's gone? Uh, you, you, you basically uh, want to, in effect, I've got to do some tweaking on that in the general rules section. Um, basically, if you want to pull, you want to pull the, um, if you wanted to pull the barricade apart, which I believe what your aim is, um, it would be yes. one set of pe it'd be one set of pet points um, over the course of four or five rounds. Um, okay. You have to concentrate the entire time to do it, but that would be okay. Um, did you make it with that roll? I think you did, didn't you? So uh, it depends on the weight. Yeah, no, you do. Yeah, okay. So, um, so the if it's uh, more or less than tw ten kilograms in this case. Yeah, so you well, they're they're empty boxes, empty foot lockers. So they're around about that ten kilo mark. So the the, the barricade starts, um, uh, not be, not being thrown across the room, but uh, starts to to individual boxes are, are falling to the floor, and it's becoming more and more exposed as we go through. Okay. okay. I'm just pulling them towards me. Yeah, I gathered that. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, Cat? All right. Uh, she wouldn't have been able to see that. Nope. Nope. Uh, Haven't got line of sight on that one. Although the, uh, the, the, exalt, the exalted yes from Bim Bam might have something to do with it. Yeah. Um... She really doesn't want to take the oh. spot on the door because that should be Jazz's spot. Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by uh, the way, sorry, I forgot to mention. Um, um, Therese? Yes? Um, you take six. I know you've got an anti shock implant, but you take 16 points of electrical damage. Ow. Okay. That's after the anti shock implant? Uh, that's after the shock, anti-shock implant, yes. Voke, you're going to have to come on and take over the duties of deactivating this guy. Uh, yeah, sure, sure thing, Mr. <laughs> robotics Man. Don't you have a skill level? In robotics? No. Oh. Well, I might not have you guys. Cat Cat? Has no, she doesn't. Cat. She's no, she doesn't. We've only got one robotics expert in the group, and that's Cerise. Uh, 
But Jazz held, and in his moment of hesitation, he saw that uh, Bim Bam left the door. So could he make it over to the doorway? Uh, he could. If Jazz is doing that. Meanwhile, what's Cat doing? Uh, she needs to be out of sea. Uh, she's gonna. Is this door. Is that door open? Not anymore. Ah, oh, we gotta play the door game again. Dude, start, don't, don't bitch to me. She'll start playing the door game then. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so that was Cat. So uh, now, hang on, the guy. The guy. Uh, if Jazz could pull, pull a shot off and he sees that it's out of cover, he will, but... I yeah, no, not quite. No. Okay. Uh... Oops, no, they did 12, sorry, not, I want D10s. I thought that was a bit funny. Uh, at 10 points from two shots to you, Babu, from the guy um, who's cowering, beh cowering down behind his uh, quickly disintegrating barrier. He did 10 points? 10 points in two shots, if that makes a difference. And you have an action. You may have a swing at you wi if you wish. Uh, he's down to effectively light cover for you. Okay, that's still good light cover. That's soft cover? Yeah, soft cover. Alright. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done. Oh, not, not so well done. Actually, no, Where that's actually... Point? Hang on a sec. Those of you who can, those of you who are looking into the room can see the guy the the Azir at the far end uh, drop down below the level of the barricade. I'll tell you what happened in a moment, Babu. Okay. All right. Um, and I'll get initiatives off everybody, please. And Cerise, you better hope you're gay before the robot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> by sounds yep. of things. Here we go. Think my everybody. My stamina will help. Somebody's missing. No, no, they're not. Alright, there's a guy. Uh, uh, right, okay. I think I know. Jazz. All right. Uh, so that guy has light cover now to Jazz? That guy's light cover and you don't have a sh and you don't, you can't see him. Oh, really? Not even pointing around the door? Okay. No, I told you, drop down below the level of the barricade. I told you that. Yeah, okay. Uh, you can shoot Jazz, it, Babu. <laughs> Jazz is going to uh, ready in action that if Cerise falls, he's going berserk on this goddamn robot. Uh, but otherwise, <laughs> he'll leave the robot to Cerise, and hopefully Cerise is good. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Actually, actually? Where, where, where is Cerise in the, like, when she's doing her robot disarming thing? Mm hmm. If Jazz came up and Sonic sorted this robot in the back to distract the robot, would that be any risk of hitting Cerise? There's always a risk of hitting Cerise. No, not really, not not in Nailee, but um, it won't help much either because, uh, except maybe take away a few of the, a few of the attacks on it. But I mean, the robot realizes what Cerise is doing. That's why, that's why she's taken the ro you know the robot's taken all its attention off everybody else, apart from p firing at Babu, who's also nice and close. But there's a secondary reason for that. Yeah, um, okay. well, it, Jazz would rather but it's, it's, not it's, die here. So yeah, but it's it's it's, it's a yeah. Well, it's a matter of Cer it's a matter of Cerise flipping the switch. Yeah. That's all it is. So if, if Cerise can go before the robot does, all well and good. Otherwise, yeah, Cerise is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what going to the Y means. So w so what are you doing, Jazz? Quick. All right, he'll ready his laser. Uh, if, okay. If it doesn't feel like a good enough distraction, he'll he'll. Ready the laser rifle. All right, Babu. Yes. He's <laughs> cowering on. He's cowering before you with his hands up. He has dropped his pistol. And I will step on the pistol and hold the. Well, no. Uh, well, you won't be. Well, hang on a minute. Don't forget, you're still technically there's still technically a barrier between you, of of footlockers. And I jump hey. the footlockers and land on him and the pistol. Yeah, I don't know how much damage you'll do doing that, especially with the four seconds. Oh, ain't actually worried about him. doing damage to him per se. I just don't want him to reconsider his surrender. Okay, you better give me a re you better give me a, a dexterity check then, please. How's that? Well, it's a failure, isn't it? What's that? Yeah. It's a failure, isn't it? it? Well, it depends on what type of bonuses or... Uh, yeah, on a you know. ricky... On a, on, hang on. On a rickety barricade made from footlockers that's being torn apart by telekinesis from one of your friends, <laughs> you've, you've tried to vault over it. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe I don't um, vault no. over. It. Maybe I vault through it. Yeah. Well, whatever. The bottom line. The bottom line is, is uh, you know, you don't do yourself uh, any favors, um, and end up in a tangled mess on the floor with uh, your your combatant uh, partner, shall we say? Am I between him and his pistol that he dropped? No, but he's certainly not fighting you. Okay. We'll just keep it that way. What do you think I did? Turn around and shoot you in the back? If given the chance, I would, yeah. Yeah, well, you're true. Bim, what are you doing? Uh, pulling apart the foot lockers. Okay. That's still continuing on? No, still concentrating on that? Not a problem. Cerise. Uh, Cerise flips <laughs> the switch. Cerise flips the switch. Uh... Cerise that was Bim Bam's telekinesis roll. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, Cerise takes uh, another eight points of electrical damage uh, because of the robot's defense screen. Uh, flips the switch. The robot goes down. The robot goes still. And I believe you go down. I think. And yeah, Cerise goes down. Cerise is Cerise is collapsed, gentlemen. Doc, I believe you've got. No, oh no, that you've. You got an action, Doc. Yeah, I do. Um, I was going to cure someone, but it sounds like someone went down. So that's well, that was after. Yeah, Doc. Doc, Cerise needs you. 
Now I got this guy where I want him. Uh, basically, it was Doc. Doc Cerise needs you. Okay, so we're moving that way. Okay. Yeah. Well, combat effectively is... We've got a surrendered... Well, effectively a surrendered individual, and the robot's not moving, so we will... You can... You want to move up to Cerise and do him completely? What is everyone else doing with the... What are you doing, Babu? You, uh... Uh, I am picking what? him up and uh, making sure he can't do anything if I got some type of manacles or something to restrain him have with. You, have you got some sort of manacles or something to restrain him with? I have at least. Uh, you can do a first aid roll, please, on um, Cerise when you're, when you're ready, Doc. Yes, I do have a rope if I have nothing else, which... Okay. In that case, you time How up. How does that work uh, coming up from negative? Oh well, um, basically you're 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 in a pretty bad way until you're fully healed, effectively, or at least back up to um, above wounded. Um, right, right. So I was four below. Yeah. And then and I ten just points. got first aid. So does that put me? So and that ten puts points me from six? four. So that puts you at six. Yeah. I didn't know if it stopped at zero. No, 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 go to six. And I think you're going to need major surgery, my boy. Oh, my girl. Yep, I'm say. down 44. Ooh. And Bim Bam's down 35. Yeah, first date. not doing well either. Yeah. Yeah, Miss Austin would do that to you. Yeah, well, I thought I was back out of the doorway. <laughs> and I thought I was in cover from the machine gun. Yeah, so not I guess, quite. I guess Bim Bam's going to get some first aid. Well, you want to do the surgery first? The first aid can wait. Yeah, whatever so order I need. Okay. Uh, Cerise major needs surgery. major surgery. Yeah, major surgery for Cerise. And, so, and jazz can assist. If necessary. Okay. So, five bio court and an anesthetic, plus the one bio court for the first aid, plus the one you want, plus the, yeah. And Cerise is fully healed. Okay, that officially I am out of bio court. So, who's got some biocourt left? I think Jazz had some, didn't you? Yeah, let me just check. I believe it was 30. Uh, wow. Yeah, Jazz has 30 biocourt in his med kit for anaesthetic. Yep, okay, well. Uh, anyone else need first aid? Abu uh, does. Okay. Vote. Do you, let's just go across the top of the board. Vote. Do you need first aid? Uh, yeah, I definitely do. Okay, so Vogue is first. Okay, well, just run across the top of the list, yeah. We've got enough bike card, I think, to cover everybody. I hope. So, ten points back to Vogue. Doc, do you need first aid? I think you do. Indeed I do. Listen, you're, you're the most important one. We cannot lose you. <laughs> okay, on me. Ten points to yourself. Bim Bam needs first aid. That I do know. Yeah, Bim Bam gets first aid. Cat. Yep, she does. And first aid for cat. Jazz. Yes. First aid for <laughs> jazz. Uh, Cerise is fully healed. We know that for a fact. And Babu. Babu needs it. And Babu, right. So, Voke, how many hit points are you? Do you now? How many stamina points are you now down, Voke? 
that's a minor surgery. Hold that thought. Pedro, the dot? Pedro? Yeah, uh, let's see. I'm only down. Hmm. Eight, I think. Eight. Well, it's up to you whether you want to do minor surgery on yourself. It's going to take a, a bio court and uh, an anaesthetic if you do. No, not right now. All right. Bim Bim, how far are you down? 25. Well, that's a major. Well, I can stay in the back. Well, or we can or do a, a minor. Or, or a minor. And I can... Yeah, so you got that choice. Cat's down 31. Not a front line guy, so. Yeah, Jazz is down 19, which is a minor. And how far are you down, Babu? 16. 16. Up to that. It looks like miners all round, apart from maybe Bim, uh, apart from Cat. Agreed. Okay, Does that so yep. Cat's under the knife okay. first, eh? Okay. Yep. Three bio court and a, an anaesthetic for Cat. Cat is fully healed. Okay, that's all my anesthetic. I'm out. Jazz uh, has extra. Yeah, he's got four more. Anesthetic, right? Mm-hmm. I got ten, so... Oh, so you got fourteen total. So do... Do Jazz and Babu next. Okay, Jazz. Bim Bam can stay in the back. Okay. Okay, Jazz. That's two by two by a court and an anesthetic for Jazz. Babu. How many are you down, Babs? Sixteen. Two and a two biocourt and an anesthetic for Babu. That all the way? Uh no, it's twenty points back. Oh, yeah, well sixteen, yeah. Twenty points, maximum twenty points. And Vokes could use one as well, I believe. A minor? A minor. Uh and that's a maximum of twenty points back for the Vogue. Two by a court and an anesthetic <coughs> used, of course. Don't tell Jazz I said it, but it's nice having a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the doctor is officially yeah. out of meds. Yeah, the, the, uh, we're running low on medical supplies, guys. So what do you mean out of meds? Running? Gone. Okay. Oh, well. Answer the. Hey. I had both of those in the uh, med kit. Uh, we missed half that, Babu. I'm sorry. You had uh, anesthetic and local anesthetic in the med kit. Did I? That's what I'm showing on my list. Mm, I'll have to check that. I mean, I got anyway. local anesthetic I haven't given out yet. Same stuff, I think you'll find. I was kind of thinking that when we started doing this. I didn't realize okay. I had two different ones. Yeah, I don't think there is any difference, personally. Uh, well, if you want ten more anesthetic, you got that. Okay, well, um, are you giving it to me? Otherwise, I'm going to have to follow the characters around to use their supplies. Yeah, I'm giving that to you. That ten more anesthetic, antiseptic to what you have. Anesthetic, anesthetic. You probably got antiseptic I, as well. I can't hear anything. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, he was just saying you've, uh, he's giving you ten anesthetic, anesthetic. I can't say it now. Ten local anesthetic as well. Ten anesthetic as well. He's giving you ten anesthetic. 
God, I'm counting fat. Did you get that? Yep. Good. And, and Jazz... Did you, did you take the 30 by a court off of Jazz? I'll take it now, thank you. Right. Yeah, good. Okay. As long as, I keep, as long as we keep our doctor fully supplied, I think we'll be right. So you've got a deactivated, you've got a deactivated Sathar-style robot, um, nasty one too, uh, who has been wounded, uh, and you've got a Yazirian who is tied up. Take the uh, rocket ammo out of the robot and take its weapons. Okay. Uh, the 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 auto pistols are built into its arms. Okay, then take out the ammo. Uh, so uh, you can do that. Um, can you give me a? Um, it is an alien design, so can you give me a uh, uh, an operate uh, operate robot? What's the skill I'm looking for? Hang on. Repair. Yeah, it's a repair. Add equipment. That's the repair. It's effectively the repair robot. There's without modifiers. Yeah. So that's uh, one arm's worth of ammo. Uh, that's the second arm's worth of ammo. And they are the two remaining missiles. It had a four missile magazine. And fired two of them. Uh, there's nothing you yeah, can we'll do about. There's nothing you can do about the uh, the defensive screen, unfortunately. Not quickly, just anyway. Yeah, just in case somebody reactivates it. Mm-hmm. Well, the ammo is. Clear the rest of this building. Yeah, the ammo is standard auto pistol ammo. Can be used by anyone. Okay. Uh, and so you've got uh, you've got effectively another forty rounds of that. Cat, what are I we doing about this guy? Uh, and the missiles yep. are standard rocket, and the rocket launching missiles are standard rocket launcher missiles. Um, you don't have a rocket launcher to go with them, but you do have the rockets. I'll record those. Okay. Nasty little buggers. Mental, mental note, mental note, more grenades, more rockets, more heavy weapons. Those things hurt. Yes. So what are you doing now, boys? Are you going to leave the robot behind? Did I hear someone say that? I think, yeah, we got to finish securing all these buildings and then go downstairs and then we can come back and we can salvage everything and yeah all right what are you doing about the Yazirian? we got to tie him up and maybe bim bam will drag him we're not going to try talking to him first yeah, what does he have on him like equipment uh just an auto pistol a light Eight. pistol sorry no, an auto pistol. Right, first time. How many more? How many robots are at this facility? We'll ask him that. He looks at you. He looks at you surly, but says nothing. Babu, that's you. I wrap him inside the head, jog his memory. He looks at you with uh, death daggers, but says nothing. Uh, isn't that a, isn't isn't that isn't that a Perhaps he could use some surgery. Isn't that against your oath? Uh, do no harm. He is wounded. I do harm. Do harm, and I'm not very happy right now. Well, you're perfectly healthy, aren't so you? So why why'd you surrender if you're not going to help us? I'll ask him that to Reesville. Well. 
and he glares at you. But says nothing. Hmm. A brave coward. Hmm. We can always push him through the door in front of us. <laughs> yeah, he got all work. You can do that if you wanted. Or we yeah, could so just treat him like Max when we're done speaking to him and just put him down. Let him sleep next to Max. Oh yeah, you do have something to put him to sleep, don't you, Doc? Yep. I got a stun grenade. <laughs> there we go. I might put him to sleep. You want a dice rag to put him to sleep? I probably got one of those too. But the doc's got some chemicals that'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, we've got hey a stun dose. Put... Yeah, so let's put him to sleep and then move on to what I think is number four. Okay. Yep. All right. So is everybody is everybody um, are going into room four? Well, not at once. No, but is every, you're sticking together, is what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So um, the room itself measures about fifteen by thirty, give or take. Uh, the north and south walls are slightly curved. There's a dim glow from the walls. Uh, oh, by the way, your tax, your toxi rad gauge showed nothing about out of um, out of the ordinary when you checked it a, a while ago. Um, the interior shows evidence of that massive machine machines were once mounted here, and the building structure was damaged when these machines were removed. Massive clamps and connect connect connectors. Sorry. Uh, litter the floor along with packing material and wire ties. You know that, you know that flat wire ribbon stuff that you tie big crates with. You ever seen those? I'm sure you have. Um, the doors. There are doors with colourful alien symbols on them, in the western and southern walls. Obviously, you came through one of them. Uh, the southern door. Uh, uh, yeah, that's okay. Nobody shooting at us? No. Uh, the lighting appears to be coming from small emergency lights. Yeah, I think they've tried to evacuate the base after we first came and they... I tell you, they don't do a very good... Yeah, done, um, they've done a pretty good job. Now, if it's only a couple of days. Yeah, well, they, well, not maybe not from when uh, Captain Max came. Maybe. But it seems like they're not done evacuating, obviously. So let's go into number. Is that one? Uh, actually, it's four. Actually, uh, that door is. Uh, does not open. Okay, so I assume I need to do my technician. Yeah, it appears to be locked. Appears to be locked. Uh, give yourself a minus twenty penalty because it's not it's not a it's not it's not a lock you've seen before. It's alien. It's an alien. It's a, it is of alien manufacture. Nope. No, that's a success. No, zero, no, no, it's a success. Oh. oh uh, did you put the minus 20 on? No. That's no, in that case you failed. Alright, Babu, time to break it open. Alright. Uh, Dad? Do you want to swing at it? You're force acting it, are you? 
basically don't roll a 90, uh, 96 to 90 to a 100 yeah okay <laughs> okay roll me some damage <laughs> roll me roll me right now you hit roll me some damage okay the door the door uh, shatters under the blow of the, of uh, Babu's force axe. Uh, inside is a small uh, 10 meter by 10 meter room, uh, which is empty. There's a door in the west wall, uh, and one in the east wall, of course. Um, a dim glow from the walls marks makes the room visible. Uh, there is nothing in this room. The eastern door has the same strange alien symbols as the door you just busted has on it. I want to check for alarms on the other door. Yeah, um, nothing too late, but not that you can detect. I assume the door's locked. Uh, you assume correct. Did I get that one. Oh, I don't know what the lock level is. You gotta take the it, lock level off. Too. Yeah, I gotta take lock level off. Uh, well, it says plus twenty, doesn't it? That's for alien yeah, that, design. That's alien design. Oh, and then the um, lock level. Well, then the lock level's gotta come off as well. Uh, and now you successfully unlock the door. All right. So what's on the other side of the door? Uh, it's roughly 20 by 20 meters square, roughly, and glows red from lights flashing on huge machines along its walls. Four robotic arms extend from the machines. The arms appear to be radiation shielded. Um, anyone with a, with a technological PSA of two or higher, hands up, everyone with a PSA of two or higher. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, that's a nuclear reactor, Plus. um, and it's due to self-destructing three hours. Oh, not so soon. Alright, so we got three hours, guys. Say, does that Set three hours column, just so through. happen to match up well with the tank symbols? No. No, but those no, weren't, this is those weren't Bluetooth link, no? No. They don't have the anyone? Any, no. Anyone got a PSA? Anyone got a technical PSA of uh, four or higher? Nope. Uh, yes, I do. Four or higher. Yeah. 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 You have a you have a, you have a, a level four skill in. Oh, I, no, I don't have technology. level four skill. I have a total. No, not total. I said uh, no. It's not what I asked. Cat, do you have four in computer? Uh, a bit uh, quieter than normal. Uh, no, cat is four. Cat is four. Ah, oh, sorry, three. I said that's four when I meant three. Yeah. <laughs> that's a, that, that, that's right, Susie. All right. So what are you gonna do, guys? Uh, Set my chronocom for two hour, two and a half hours. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Look. Smart move. Um. Yeah. Look. You. You don't know how to shut it down. That's the first thing. It's definitely set to set on a self destruct. Um. But from your estimations, yes, you've got three hours, and um. The resulting. Uh, not explosion, but the resulting radiation will spread throughout the entire rift at lethal levels. Uh, so, in other words, we're talking also wiping out the helio? Yep. And we can't shut it down? You cannot shut it down. You do not have the skills. Oh, 
tires of pickle. Now, it'll explode in three hours. The immediate area of a couple of kilometres will be, you know, devastated. Um, but the radiation will spread um, over the course of however long it takes to spread, you know, uh, a couple of days or a couple of weeks uh, to fill the entire rift. Well, effectively fill the entire rift with, with uh, lethal radiation. Um, so, yeah. All right, well, let's, um, well, good thing I have a lead suit, no one else does, so fuck. Let's check these other outbuildings and then go down the, the shaft. Okay. The reactor's not movable, right? <laughs> the reactor is not movable. Well, oh. yes, technically it, it would be, um, but you don't have the equipment for it. If yeah. I can't stop the blast, can I contain it, or at least contain the radiation? Is it possible to remove the fuel? No. Yeah. If I can't no, shut it down from the computer, can I contain the, ba the blast, the radiation, or take the fuel cell? Uh, no, you cannot shut it down. Uh, no, you cannot contain the blast. No, you can't ca take uh, take the fuel cells because that would count as shutting it down. Can I take anything important off of it, even if it doesn't stop it from shutting down? You can, but it will cause it to explode immediately. To the best of our well, knowledge, no does fun. Max have this ability? This does Max have the ability? Uh, yeah. You don't know. Probably, possibly. Who knows? So he's a navigator. He's he's a navigator, not an engineer. It might be high enough level. A navigator's got to be, what, computers four or six? Well, the mm, problem maybe. is if we tell him, hey, this nuclear reactor's about to blow up, what can you tell us about it? He's already in the... The last time he was awake, he was freaking out because we were getting it. Right, well, we don't, okay, we don't well, tell him that. Right? We, we wake him up and say, do you know anything about nuclear reactors? Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that while you've got. I, I would. I would wait until you finish clearing the base out first. I would be an idea. You've got three yes. hours. <coughs> three hours. We're getting feedback again. Um, so let's check those other Sorry. four buildings. You right now? I think it's better. Yeah. Sorry. Better. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, so which one are you going to first, gentlemen? That one. Let's start at the top. It's a large geo geodesic dome with a single door in one side. The opaque walls are made of heavy duty plastic. There are no windows or visible lights. When you open up, it is empty. Maybe some sort of barracks? No, too small. Storage, possibly. Okay. Storage. You said it was empty, so then let's go to the next one. Do we have a camera? Uh, or do we have anything that can take a picture? Yeah, we do. Why? Just to take photos of the nuclear reactor and take photos of all the, uh, the uh, signs and whatnot. The photograph the base, basically. Yeah, we can do that. Feedback. Okay. You getting it from me or are you getting it from someone else? I think it's from you. Yeah, from Really? We weren't getting it the first half of tonight, but the last 10, 15 minutes. Did, did, that, did that drop it off or is it still there? Yes, it's much better now. How's that? Is that better? Yeah, that's way better. Yeah, okay. Sorry about that. I don't know what was causing that. Because I'm not, I'm not hearing any feedback. And if it was me, it normally do. 
that's okay. Um, the second uh, round uh, area is also one of these ge geodesic domes, uh, pretty similar to the first. Uh, when you open it, again, it is empty as well. And the third. And the third, again, is like the other two. And this bigger building. That one. Hey, baboon. Out of my space. We both can hey, hey, no shove. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, out of my way. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. The building is 25 meters long and 15 meters wide. The interior consists of a large room with a dirt floor. Holes in the floor show where objects were once located. There is a large quantity of packing material, such as broken pieces of plastic, on the floor. In the northeast corner, is a raised wooden floor that is gouged and scratched. Are those like vehicle doors on the side? No. They are doors, but not vehicle doors. Is this like, can I do like civil engineering to find out what the heck this place is? You can give it a roll. I won't, certainly won't say no. Um, look, if you had to guess, you'd say it was some sort of heavy duty, um, heavy duty um, machine area. Um, could have been, could have been a gym. Could have been uh, some sort of training area. It's certainly not a garage. It doesn't strike you as that type of area, but it, it's pretty hard to tell. I mean, most of these buildings, as uh, you know, are modular, uni, uni, standard uni house style. You know. Mining not equipment much to them. stuff? No. No, there's no, there's no, there's no hole for mine. Well, I mean, if you store uh, mining stuff. So no, no, that would be like a garage, of some sort. Uh, I'm uh, no, maybe it's it, stock, is it? Maybe it was a training facility. For well, martial training. Maybe I mean you ha you you certainly had a barracks a barracks room. Um, with all the beds, which, that's where the robot and that were, and the footlockers and that. Um, so, you know. The whole place strikes you like some sort of... It, it reminds you of the time you spent at the GTO, actually. No, the GTF, sorry. Uh, before, you, before you were shipped out to... Before you even got your first job... Um, Doing that uh, sabotage run for the pen for Pangal. Well, if everybody's good, I say we go check out that shaft down. Yep, sounds good. So yes, it really does strike you like a training base. An abandoned training base. Yeah, I, I'm thinking this was a training base for Sathar agents, right, from the four races. Yeah, well, you've seen a Vraska human and a Yazirian so far. Did you also say there were hover cycles at one point? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Oh, okay. Just to uh, northeast, northwest of Duck. Mm-hmm. So, are uh, you going down the lift, are you? Onto the platform. Well, let's look at it first. Can we tell? We, I mean, are there uh, cracks around the edges of the lift so that we can see how far down? Is there any noise? Is there... There's a, there's, a, the... there's a really... No, no, hang on. There's a really low volume hum, um, possibly coming from some sort of power source. Um, it appears to be a standard um, lift that drops down uh, or platform that drops down. It hasn't got any sides uh, or anything else like that. The, only, the, the only, only part that marks it on the floor is a, is a black and yellow striped strip along the floor, uh, along, the along the floor edge. Um, apart from that, and there's the foot pedals. Um, so yeah, 
or foot Any signage? No signage. Or if it is, it's in a, it's in, in, a, in a language you don't understand. <laughs> no, no signage. Well, I think four of us can fit. Is that right? Uh, no, you can all go down if you wanted to. Before we do that, Vogue's going to go back to the nuclear reactor and... With my earlier chats, could I identify what the reactor is powering in this base? The base. But, like, obviously, like, you have different, like, outputs, right? You have the lights, you have, I don't know, vehicle recharging, right? Is there some super secret underground layer that it's powering? Can't tell. Bummer. All right. I think Bim Bam will stay up. I don't want everybody to go down at once. Yeah, the doc's not going down. I think our tech, our uh, technological people should go and. Yeah. Yep. So Jazz, Cat, Cerise, and Vogue, pack down there and Babu. Yep. Okay, so you decided yep. who's going? Yep. Okay. Okay, so let's see if I got this right. Um, you're going to trigger the foot pedal? The one of the foot pedals? Yep. What the hell? There yes. It is. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. And we want to stop as soon as one of any of the four walls opens up. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so uh, you hit the pedal. You hit the the foot, the foot button, the foot, whatever, uh, and the platform and the ones standing on the platform start descending into the ground. You go down uh, 10 metres, uh, stop. Uh, as you go down the 10 metres, the um, a 2 metre uh, high opening uh, opens up in the uh, eastern wall. Sorry, western wall, uh, and you start to travel horizontally uh, westward, which was towards the bluff. If you remember correctly. Okay. Ooh, that was where the turrets were, right? Yeah. Uh, so you start travelling westward. Um, you travel about. Uh, by your estimation, 50 metres or so, uh, stop, and then rise about the 10 metres you went down. Uh, when it stops, uh, the uh, west wall um, slides aside to reveal a long corridor. Okay. Okay. Does everyone have like IR, IR vision? Uh, the corridor is lit. Oh, okay. It before it stretches before you about twenty meters or so. Thirteen or so meters ahead. Actually, more than twenty meters. It's quite a long way. It's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. Fifty or so meters, maybe a bit longer. Uh, yeah, 50 metres, sorry. Uh, th roughly uh, 13 or 15 metres ahead or so, uh, there is a door in the north wall and one directly opposite in the south wall. Uh, one of those robots that you love so much is standing in the corridor near the doors and starts turning towards you. What's that? That's the robot. I'm about to drop it onto its... 
I'm about to drop a uh, token onto it. Well, seeing as we're not underground uh, anymore, uh, 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 I think grenades are going to be uh, just fine. Oh, uh, we're too too confined. What? No, but we got to spread out. Whatever you do, <laughs> whoever's there for, gets first initiative. Spread out. You'd always you'd always reactivate the lift. Yeah, we could, but. So, initiative, please, people. Out, out of the five people who are there. Oh, Grenade and then there. elevate out. <laughs> <laughs> They're really bad in issue rolls. Eleven's not bad. Yeah. Uh, so the robot got a fourteen. Like that's not bad. Stupid robot. Why? <laughs> the robot uh, can also hit it at like long range with an auto pistol as well. So. There's a whole bunch of bullshit with this robot. <laughs> what do you expect? What do you expect when you fight high-level robots? Uh, the robot fires two bursts at the at you in the doorway, in the elevator doorway. There, the first one actually is that. Oh, it's a burst fire. No, they're both, and both of them hit. Uh, so five, that's nine dice. No, it's not. It's eight dice. No, I was right the first time. It's nine dice. Nine dice. Nine is the cap, isn't it? No, ten. Ooh, okay. No, uh, it's one per... It's, yeah, either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, it gets divided across everybody anyway, so it's not yeah, yeah, as it bad does. as it sounds. Uh, seven points each from the first burst. Uh-huh. Uh, skin seat supply, of course. And six points each from the second. And then Jazz, you can have a go. Uh, yep. Let me just make sure I remember to write down my stamina decrease. Uh, Okay, okay. okay so uh, so where, where, where are we? Are we... In the list. Start there? Still. Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, in the spirit of let's spread out, <laughs> uh, j jazz can... What, 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 hap what happened to a grenade and get, get out of there? I don't trust this, the grenade not to bounce back at us while we're escaping with the grenade. Like, that is something we would do. <laughs> well, <laughs> make sure you throw it far enough. All right, so getting, getting that tactic sort of thought out, like, if we went back up, it would still be able to fire down the shaft, right? Like, there's no door that closes when we disappear. Yes, it is. This one there is. I oh. said the west wall open, slides open. Remember, I said that. Okay. That's an actual. That's an actual door. Door just there. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Come on, maybe that's on. a. Maybe that's a good idea. Jazz is gonna roll a grenade out. Okay. Don't laugh. This house is back at you guys. I really will. <laughs> yeah. So will I. I'll be like, I'm not tr being trusted with any rolls. <laughs> Uh, just a straight thrown weapon. Uh, yeah, if that unless you've got grenade. 
I think thrown weapon is the yeah yeah that's yes. what it is that's what I'm saying yes my god you actually managed to strike it you actually managed to get it I am surprised was that a frag grenade yes it was no no it was a doze no it, was it doze wasn't grenade. incendiary grenade no Incendiary do damage. Where are we? Um. Oh God, where is there? It is. Eight D ten. Now, what's what I was looking for? I was looking for the robot's reaction speed. Zero. Unfortunately, no. So you roll me eight D ten if you like. Jacinta? Right. Uh, the robot uh, appears to be lightly wounded. Cool. Well, do I trust myself enough to do that? I don't know, do you? Uh, I don't think I have enough ammo in my clip for a full burst, do I? Now, I'll, uh... You can do a short burst. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a a lesson from Babu and charge at it with the force act. <laughs> okay. So All right. I'm gonna go right there so I make room. No. no. There? No. Yep, there. Oh. Can't charge you can't charge past it, dude. That's unless you're charging past it. You can't charge past it, turn around and hit it in the back. Sorry. Can we have like a timeout, right? Just let me catch no, my breath. No, 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 no. Go swing at it if you're gonna swing at it. Cool. That's yeah, only just so. Okay, who was next? Cerise. Well, I am getting out of the elevator and going as far as I can this way. And I'll shoot at it next turn. <laughs> Unless I can shoot at it as, a, as I run by with the running penalty. Yes, you may do that. You have a single shot running by with running penalty, if you wish. There's no I'll even give you a so burst. Hey, a... What are you using? Gyro jet oh, rifle. No. Gyro jet pistol. Yeah, it's the, it's the same attack. Um, yeah. Minus 10 for point blank and minus 10 for running, so that's just a hit. Yeah, it is. You mean minus ten for sure. Oh no, because you're gyro jet. That's yeah. Twenty points. Not a bad shot on the on the fly. No. Okay. Uh. Yeah, Babu. You're not gonna let Voke have all the fun, are you? Oh, that reminds me. Yeah, Vogue. but I whiff. Vogue. Oh. 13 points of uh, electrical damage. Oh. 13, 1, 3, you got too close. So including with the anti shot? Uh, no, halve that for the anti shot. So Down six. or up? 6. Down. As a general rule, always, always round down. Okay. So, J uh, Babu. Babu. I don't know what happened. 
Babu. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm you. here. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, guys, kind of zoned out there for a minute. You fall asleep, did you, mate? Yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Voke uh, charged it forward and then went to strike at the robot with a, with a force, act, uh, force axe. Uh, Cerise ran by and shot it on the on the run with a gyrojet pistol. What are you doing? Oh, I can't let folk have all the fun. I didn't think you would. Have a swing. You do lots of damage. I hope to. That's a hit. Lots of damage. Lots of damage. And 17 points worth of electrical damage back to you. And finally, last but not necessarily least, is Cat. Cool. Um... She'll run through and Good. follow Cerise. Are you taking a shot on the way? Yeah, why not? What are you shooting uh, with? Uh, it would be uh, her auto rifle. You could put a you could put a burst in if you wish. Yeah, fine. Well, you don't have to. I'm just saying. You uh, could put a burst in if you wish. So that's a burst. At at a running penalty. Yeah, burst at a running penalty. At point blank range, effectively. Minus 20, plus 10. <laughs> Just! <laughs> yes! You are so lucky. Robinson I have Debbie. been missing so much of those 65% shots know, that I, I deserve know, I to get one in. I bet. Go on. Roll me, roll me the damage. 5 to 10. Okay. Okay. The dam the robot is, is getting very heavily damaged uh, after being taking a force act, a force axe, a grenade, uh, a burst, and a, uh, a gyro jet shot. So let's put some initiatives up, please. And let's hope I can get some shots in before you take me out. Or let's say you. So don't. far, so g so far, so good. Uh, maybe not. It hasn't rolled yet. Folk. Folk. There we go. <laughs> yes, I think I'm going to get Voke. I think I'm going to beat Voke, don't you? Yeah. In fact, oh. I beat all. I beat all you. Let's roll the ten. <laughs> so, who to who to? Oh, that makes it easy. Um. I can't shoot a missile behind me, otherwise I would. I'm tempted. Do they have a minimum you. range? Uh, no, they don't. I just can't shoot behind me. I can't physically shoot behind me. Now otherwise you're not I a would. suicidal robot. No, no. So um, and you against have Vogue, in your way. against Vogue, I'm going to use a. Tentacle and a uh, an auto pistol B burst. Uh, tentacle misses. The auto pistol, on the other hand, oh, that hits. Uh, for twenty four points, Voke. And the same against Babu. Uh, Tentacle hits. Auto pistol hits. Tentacle does four points. Babs? Okay, Babu. four points. Got me? 
four points. Uh, the burst does 34 points. Skin suit applies as per normal until the skin suit's destroyed. Brutal. 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 Uh, I bet it did cat. Alright, she's gonna take a shot at this guy's back. It's too brute. <laughs> yeah, well, that's gonna hit. Ah, uh, did you burst fire that? Yeah. Why? Add two more dice to that dice roll, please. Yeah, because it burst fire, you hit allies. Last time that didn't happen. Well, you last were running time past they weren't them. Shooting, last Damn time, it, yeah, you were running past it, and this time you're shooting back down the corridor, and they're in a single group. Yeah. Two more D2s, please. So 23 plus 12. 23 plus 10s. Uh, 33 oh, divided by 3. 11, uh, 11 points each, please, guys, to, to Babu and Voke and the robot. Rip. I have <laughs> no, no rip. Sorry, mate. Jazz? Jazz. All right. Uh, There's. By the way, don't forget they're five meter. Co they're five meter squares. You can fit fit two manly combatants in a five meter square. So you've got plenty of room to go in yourself if you wish. Yeah, he'll go in and Sonic sort it. Do you want to try and? Do you want to try and go nuts? Do you want to rage? Do you want to rage? Yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. What does this even mean? He did it. Uh, Finally. You get, a, you get a plus 20% chance to hit. Okay. Have to be have to be in melee. And you, uh, yeah. Smack it. Battle Rage modifier. Battle Rage modifier. LOL You <laughs> <laughs> The dice so the dice it, It's so beautiful that that happened. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well it still applies, you're still raging. Yeah, I know. You, you, in fact, you're still raging until you decide to come out of it or until a certain amount of time passes. Yeah. So, yeah, you've gone berserk like a berserker. Oh, yeah. Dear. Cool. The the dice gods do not like you, mate. No, no. <laughs> and when you do manage to get, you manage to get your allies. Uh, not uh, Babu. You want to have a swing? I'm going to try. Not this time. Not this time. Um, Cerise and then Voke. Cerise? Oh, sorry. Didn't I? I thought I'd already gone. Um, three shots. No, you didn't. You're taking three shots in the melee. What's the penalty? Yeah, no penalty, but if you miss, if you miss closely enough, you might hit one of your allies. Yeah. If you, it, and if you critical foul, you might hit one of your allies. Yeah, but if I fire a single shot, I might hit one of my allies. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. You with three shots is fine. Go for your life. Can you do three shots with a garage yet? I thought it was only two. No, no, it's a laser. No, you can do three. The, yeah, the pistol does two. The rifle does three. You've only got a pistol, haven't you? No. I know it's well, saying pistol here, but 
it's the same okay. attack. That's that's what I was going on. Yeah, I'm not sure why I renamed the thing in the thing. The mm. thing in the thing. The thing in the thing. I tell you, it's almost a critical hit. Um, a, a guard jet pistol just misses somebody's head by the by the pair, by the barest of millimeters. And the second one. Okay. Yeah, the robot's not looking very healthy at all. Vote, you probably take it out if you can hit it. If I can hit it, and I'm wounded, so... But you know what? The dice aren't going to screw me over, right? <laughs> you like tempting fate, you guys, don't you? Right? Well... The dice you didn't really, help me out here. You really have to tempt you. Alright, initiatives please, guys. And you better hope the robot doesn't go first, because someone's going to die here. Well, I'm not going first. No, Jazz is, if, unless I can beat him. Jazz? Don't forget, you're plus 20%. You've got a battle rage going still, Jazz? Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. Awesome. Did you hit? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, you hit. Uh, the last time when you went to hit but miss, by the way, yes, like last round. Yes. You should have t you should have taken 19 points of electrical damage. Okay. Okay. This time you take the robot out and still take 15 points of electrical damage. And that's halved with the anti shock. And halved with ha and both those are halved with the anti shock implant. Yes. Ten and seven. Round down. Okay, that has to be the last one. Like, I, it's a, where it has to be. I know you guys <laughs> like melee, but you gotta shoot them at range. Did we bring the dock? Bad Boo's us? gonna sit down on the ground. No, he did not bring the dock with you. He, he can hear you it. asking for help, though. So he, I think he he's on his way. Yeah. Well, he can't be on his way. Somebody. <laughs> I'll go take the elevator up. Cat will take the okay, elevator Okay, yes, there, yeah, there we go. You said, yes, there. I'm Bim Bam will stay happening. with the prisoner. Um, can we make sure no one's coming down from the uh, corridor? The corridor? What? Check. You actually want to make, want me to see if there's any coming down the corridor? Yeah. Uh, would going to take would, a few minutes I? and put his civilian uh, skin suit on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, while they're doing that, I'll do that as well. All right, hang on a second. Hang on a sec, hang on a sec, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Got to readjust that. Okay, that's what you see looking up and down the corridor. There are doors leading off the corridor, obviously to the north and south. So if you can see that one there, can you see that one there? Yeah, you can. And the two doors there, so. Can you see those three doors or not, guys? I can see two doors. Uh, oh, yeah, I can see the third one down the bottom. Yeah, there. good. So I'm, I can't see what you can see. My map. That's what you can see, looking around the corridor of the edges. Cool. No, not so, so I cool. think Cat was going to get the dock and come back? I believe yeah, so. Yeah, that's. We, we can assume that that's done now. Okay, so. Uh, corridor, yeah. Lift disappears, lift comes back. Are you bringing Bim Bam with you? No, he's going to stay and guard the prisoner. Okay. And make sure he has an extra, you know, shot of the whatever it is asleep. On. Well, Max is still asleep. 
But he's got a laser pistol. That'll put him to sleep. Yeah, if he does that. Uh, or a sonic wanna... stunner. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so everyone can... So, Matt, the doc's back. And everything else is... Done. What are we doing, people? Let's medic. check these doors. Yeah, medic and then doors. Mm-hmm. Who's hurt? Babu's on death's door. <laughs> yeah, getting shot by your own people hurts, doesn't it, mate? Yeah, I'm saying I think I'd be used to it by now. Yeah, the elevator's back by now. Come on, come on through, Doc. Who needs first aid? Therese Puff. looks like it's Can both take out the four remaining rockets in its rocket thing? No, Babu. No. Babu? Babu's hurt. Yeah, you can take out the rocket any ammo if you want. Sweet. But you need to give me a roll. Uh... Technician? Uh, no, it's robotics, um, repair. Therese, I want rocket. You've got nothing to do with them yet, dude. You gonna roll Big them? Shift explosives. Yeah, later. Uh, so ten points back for Babu. You still hurt, Babu? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ask. How badly are you hurt, Babu? Nine out of seventy-five. Wow. Well, I think I just gave you 10, right? Yeah, that he needs 10. 56 yep. more. 56 more. That's a major surgery. Major surgery for Babu. Okay, here we go. Prepping. That's six bio courts and an anesthetic if it works. <laughs> Only just works. Six biocorts and an anesthetic, and Babu is perfectly, perfectly healthy. The wonders of modern surgery. I gotta look Who's like next? a lump of scar material. Doc, mm. over here. I think, I think Vogt needs help. The first and then major on Vogt. Yeah, first and major on Vogt. I learned from Babu to not do as Babu does. Okay, 10 points back for a vote for the first aid. How many are still down? Well, now I'm good. Yeah, but I need to know for the biocourt. Uh, no. I would be down 30. So another three biocourt and an anesthetic, please. Doc. Anyone else hurt? Jazz, Sorry, just 20 down. first aid. Well, first aid for Jazz. Are you coming out? I take you. You'd be out of your out of your rage by now. Um, don't yeah. forget to yes. replace your scan suit. Yeah, I'm out. For those, of you, for those who who have skin suits to be replaced by, so ten points back. Uh, that's first aid for Jazz. Ten points back for Jazz, and is Jazz then still down ten points? Or correct. It's a minor if you want one. It's a bio court and an anesthetic. But we're running low on anesthetic, aren't we? Uh, I think we should probably avoid that, not waste the anesthetic on that. It's up, well, yeah, okay. Yeah, we're down to 19 biocort and 7 anesthetic. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> things are getting nasty. First aid takes no anesthetic, right? First aid takes no anesthetic, that's correct. Right, so I, I need a first aid. That's another bio court and a first aid. Well, they're always bleeding out because they're always well. No, they're not bleeding out necessarily. They got um, most of them got electrocuted um, fighting the robot. There are, there are a suspicious number of um, uh, of bullet holes in them though. 
Yeah, well, when you're point blank and you take five rounds to the gut, and then you take two more in the back. <laughs> yeah, well. Welcome to this group. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, welcome, to welcome to the B team. <laughs> welcome to the B team. <laughs> All right, let's do these two doors know. here, guys. It was a cut price crew, wasn't it? Yeah, well, budget crew. Crew. Guard the corridor. Budget crew. Right. I want to lobby for some XP door. on this one. Jesus Christ. Uh, if we'll get some XP, don't worry. I've got it totaled up, don't worry. You'll get your XP. You'll have a, you'll have a lot. Assuming you survive the nuclear blast and the, and the surviving and the and the uh, and the uh, resulting fallout, um, you should have plenty of time travelling back in the um, in the ship to uh, to some training. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to survive just fine. I have a radiation suit in my bag. I don't know about everyone oh. else, but I'll be just standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You 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 stand next to the right to the reactor when it blows up in your radiation suit. You'll be fine. Exactly. All right. So how about this I, northern door? You going through this northern? You going through the northern door? Are you? Yep. Yes. yes that we're ready for opening it. it. Who's going first? You want to you arrange yourself, you know, you want to put yourselves in a, in roughly where you want to be standing when someone opens the door? Would you Babu and then Jazz right behind and then Cerise? With grenades in hand. With grenades in hand. Alright. Now don't react I don't until I finish, un I finish uncovering the room, okay? I don't see Jazz's token. Jazz is there. Somewhere. Jazz is in the fog of war right now. Jazz has gone through the door, that's why. <laughs> Jazz got a little bit in front of himself. We'll start calling Jazz Leroy. Leroy Brown. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. Jenkins, yes. <laughs> Who's Leroy <laughs> Jenkins? I don't, I don't get the joke. Oh. Uh, just look up Leroy Jenkins on YouTube. Oh, no. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's one of those jokes, is it? It's a wow. It's a wow oh, meme. It was hilarious, although they and say it's now it's staged. Oh. I played well. I play a panda. A martial arts panda in well. Sorry to hear that. Oh, I've got a panda. <laughs> Panda's good fun. <laughs> I like playing the panda. A bit fat, maybe, but he looks. And they're good. they're delicious as well. And they're delicious as well. <laughs> but they are also great cooks. They are great cooks. That's why they're delicious. And they take half fall damage because they're fat. Exactly. I'm not stupid. Uh, there is a uh, there's a door in the east, in the southeast end of the east wall, and one in the east end of the south wall. There. Well, on the east wall is a moving convey. Uh, do I have to draw it in? No. In, along the east wall is a moving conveyor belt. The area under the belt is sealed, and three mechanical arms protrude from the wall along its length. It disappears into a block of machinery that extends to the roof in the northeast corner. Lights on the side of the machine are glowing. An opening is in the s an opening is in the east side of the machine and a smaller belt runs from it to a massive solid tube in the northwest corner. I'll do those for you in a minute. The belt stops at an opening in the tube's east side. One metre from the west wall sits a large computer. On a small dais in the southwest corner is a chair formed by bars. Several electronic units are attached to it and lights are glowing on their panels. There is one of these lovely robots that you enjoy so much standing in the room. Hey Matt, you remember when I said that whole underground evil secret layer thing, and you said, "Nope, don't see finding." Yeah. Yeah, you remember that? I was lying. Yeah, what I was happened lying. To that? You, didn't, you didn't find it. You didn't find anything at the time. Oh, I didn't happen to know that a nuclear reactor just so happened to be powering this underground layer. Yeah, I said you didn't find anything. You didn't at the time. Wow, wow, wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. Um, so I better get initiatives off people, 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 please, because there's a robot in there. One of your lovely, lovely robots, the ones that you love so much. I don't know if you have enough bio cord for me to charge. <laughs> Okay, so I make uh, Doc. You've got an issue. No, Jess has got an issue. Then Doc. All right, uh, Jazz. Does Jazz have line of sight on this guy? Uh, where's Jess, Danny? Right at the the door. Of, yes. Yeah, I don't see why not. If that's Jazz. <laughs> near Babu there. Is that yep. your little dog going off its nut? Yeah, my uh, partner must be home. I'll be a little bit quiet for a tick. <laughs> okay. Well, Jazz, you're... Ah. Uh, uh, yep. I hate that. I'll be your dog your is jazz. not barking anyway. Yeah. That's right. Yes. Jazz, 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 you're up. Yep. Uh, uh, he'll take a laser rifle shot at the laser... at the... Robot. Okay. Nice. Yep. <laughs> yep. A lot of ones there. Yeah, it's not the best. It should have been 55 or higher, but it's mm -hmm. not terrible. Uh, it's wounded. Um, Doc, you're standing by, I take it? Yep. Uh, in that case, uh, Voke. Go to What are you doing, Voke? Go team. Go team means what? Now, come on. Seriously, what are you doing? Uh, if something comes down the corridor, I'm going to shoot it. Right. That's, That's it. Okay, fine. That's what you do, but I still need to know. But isn't that... Cerise? Good? No. Cerise? I will move in here and take three shots at it. Okay. <laughs> One hit. Seventeen points, right? Not a worry. Um, Babu. All right. Someone's got to step up, I guess. Yeah. And be a meat maybe. shield. Maybe. You got to, you got to, do, you got to do more. You got to do, do better hits, man. Uh, 15 points of electrical damage. Cat? Alright, uh, she has a run. Of 30, so she can't actually get that very far. Uh, you can make it. Yeah, you but I don't want to. I don't want to make it to fireball radius. Uh, uh, yeah, she's going to get there so that she can run in the next turn. Okay. Well, the robot's flailing with its tentacles at Babu and strikes. Only once for nine points. If you can manage it, Babu, it's probably better for you to attack it from the rear because it can't shoot backwards. Then you're only taking one set of damage. Um, yeah, maybe. I can't shoot rockets backwards. Good enough. 
and takes six shots at Sharif. Ow. And hits five times. For a total of 35 points. Actually, are you wearing a skin suit? Yep. Right. It'll make a difference. Um, nine, point, nine points from the first one. Six points okay. from the second. Nine points from the third. Six points from the fourth. And five points from the fifth. You see All how right. it makes a difference? Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, wait a minute, uh, Jazz was silly, he should have taken two shots, uh, b before Babu ran into the room. No, I take the second one. Could <laughs> Go on. Still okay. not cut it. Uh, can I get initiatives off everybody, please? The robot is still active, but damaged. Actually, damaged, damaged. Ooh, that's not good addition. <laughs> nope. Not when I roll a 10. What's up for Jazz? Uh, no, I even beat Jazz. So, two flails at Babu, one critical. Why can't Jazz go? Because I can beat you. I've got a 17. Ah. Uh. Okay. So the critical flail does 18 points. The non-critical flail does 10 points. And the robot takes another 6 shots at... Whoops, that's not what I want. I've got the die. <laughs> uh, at... Cerise. There we go. Uh, hit... Hit, crit, hit. Ah, oh, only three hits. But one of them is a crit. So the first hit, Cerise, does a point. So your skin suit absorbs it all. Aren't you lucky? The second shot does five points. The third shot does 14 points, and the fourth one does 6. You said you only hit three times. Yeah, no, I miscounted, it was four. So the so, 14 and what was the fourth damage? Six. And upside down nine. Okay. Jazz, 16. Initiative 16, go. Cool. All right. Uh, what was that? Sh she'd be. Oh. Sh she's not going to shoot over Babu. Uh, so. Walking, walking, walking. No, that's cat. Walk for to that. So what are you doing? Pardon me. Hmm. Uh, his best bet is probably to run past, unfortunately. Or move Rather near Ceres. Ceres will move. Yeah, okay. And do what? I'm gonna go 
get a drink, but Folk is gonna do the same. Okay. Oh, there you go. Was that your damage roll, Jazz? Yeah. Okay. Robot's dead. Cool. Yay, Jazz. Medic. I believe I believe uh, Babu could take uh, could do with a um, I believe Babu and Cerise could both do with some um, healing. Yeah. Okay, Babu. Yep. First aid. I'm probably gonna have a addiction to buy a quart when we're done. <laughs> Ten points for Babu. That's your first aid. We probably should save the. Uh anesthesia yeah. for big cases so I would just do first aid right now and 10 points for Cerise no one else got hit no one else got hit that round did they correct all right I'm back Ooh, uh, job, can cat can cat go over to the computer and do computery things Certainly can. It is an alien computer, so it's a twenty. It's a twenty percent penalty. Yeah. Uh, and operate first. Yes. You'll need to operate first. <laughs> well, I didn't know your bonus was stat. Yeah, but it's got, you've got to take the level of the computer off first. Yeah. So I'm uh, hoping that it's not a level six computer. No, it's a level three computer. So your total penalty is minus fifty. Yep, that cool. includes the alien nature. So yes, you you can operate a computer. What would you Sweet. like to operate? Uh, okay, so I guess I'd be looking at trying to figure out what it's controlling, what it's what this facility is about. All right. So what so what skills are you using to do? What computer skills are you using to do that? I'll do display info. Okay. Uh. It is um, a fire control computer, um, and it appears to be controlling um, uh, the um, um, turrets that we blew up. No, not all of them. The rocket. This is a rocket control room. Um, all the machinery against the east wall is to do with taking rockets from the magazine uh, and loading it into the um turrets did we get attacked by rock no you didn't uh there there are also uh uh there is one rocket ready to launch and there are uh nine rockets in the uh nine missiles in the magazine um uh, there's also, uh, if you give me a display uh, uh, another display information roll, please. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like it's set for automatic control to fire on anything above 30 meters, including spaceships. Oh, and it's still active. Huh. So it, it 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 will fire on the last leagues if you try and lift off. Yep. Hmm. Two questions. Obviously, we want to try and disable this somehow. But two, <laughs> could we potentially target it at the reactor to make a less bad thing to happen? Volca says no. Okay. Uh, yeah, Volk would. Uh, you could. It, it, it'd still blow up the reactor, and rea the radiation would still spread out. Th would still spread throughout the entire rift. Yeah. Okay. You'd be adding more uh, 
force to the blast, so now you'd be doing making a Not necessarily. Well, knowing jazz and explosives, but, yeah, you're gonna make a weapon. Yeah, okay, you're knowing, yeah, knowing, yeah. Knowing cat and explosives, yes. Okay. Yep, okay, okay. Uh, and the second so, question? Uh, yeah, it was the how to. Can Cat figure out a way to disable it from here? Does she need to bypass some security or. Uh, no, there's no security on it. Huh. Uh, as so such, you that you can see, there's nothing you listing want an in operate the. Role? There's no. Uh, so you can use an operate role to try and uh, to, to disable it all? Yes, please. Okay. Don't fail. Yeah, don't fail. Otherwise, we're going to have to do something. Yeah, well. Damn it, Cat. Uh, <laughs> that's, a that's, that's not just a fail, Cat. That's a critical fail. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's good. Mm. That's good. Um, you think you're successful. Can I do an engineering check? Military on these missiles. Uh, you can't get to the missiles. They're behind the thing. Uh, what was the display info for, Cat? Uh, just checking the status of the missiles. Uh, armed, armed, active, and um, ready. Mm. Only the uh, only the height has been dropped to ten meters. Yep. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Uh, Does Cat have any computers? No, we've only got one computer expert. Hmm. Uh, Cat get an impression that she could take another go at this, or has she stuffed it? She can take another go at a further t at a further twenty percent penalty. Yeah. Okay. That's minus seventy. You think you're successful? Hmm. She'll check again. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. At least he yeah, doesn't make us roll in the tower. Yeah, I could do. I should do actually. Um, I know that I don't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, you're pretty sure. You're pretty sure you're successful this time round. Um, that thing seemed to be uh, uh, disabled the firing, the automatic firing mechanism. It's not. It, it certainly it could certainly be turned back on by somebody quite easily, uh, or it could be used manually, uh, apparently as well. Uh, but it's no longer under automatic control. Hey, cat! Can you find out anything else from this? Uh, or is that all it does? I no, think we did. A yeah, it, it's just a fire control computer. Okay. All right. Uh, can we disable? It? And by it, I don't mean like the system. I mean like the console, and you know, like smash it. No point. Be no. more gentle, and like the wire. No point wasting well, time. Well, the uh, the tech one of the technicians could do a a sabotage role. I just want really to try it. Just want. <coughs> oh, nothing. Yeah, you're not successful, right? Apparently, sabotaging stuff is the hardest thing to do as a tech. That's right, because if you, if you, if you, if you don't do it right, um, you have a tendency to blow things. Things have a tendency to blow up in your face. Right, or Pretty the alternative is attempt to fix it and sabotage it. So you're telling me I chose the dangerous one? Cat chose computers yeah. and made it worse by screwing up big time with missiles and rockets. Mm -hmm. And yet I'm you're telling me... Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Cerise so wants to, to check the back of the room. <laughs> to know the, rule, the rules. Yeah, what about it? What else is back here? Is that a wall? Uh, basically, the uh, no, it's all it's all the mechanism to get the to get the missiles from the magazine to the launcher. 
But so there's nothing in that area. That's a a wall. Oh, sorry. It's a, sorry. Yeah. No. Sorry. Oh. I thought you meant the I thought you meant the back wall was in that one. No, that's a wall, mate. That's a wall. It's supposed to be that. Oh, there we go. I didn't draw it over far enough. Check south. Yeah, okay. Before you do that, um, that's actually a good place to leave it. We've been going for four hours. Um, so, um, hopefully everybody enjoyed themselves. Um, mm -hmm. If you want to roll those credits, and we'll see everybody in a couple of weeks' time. Well, that's it for this session. We hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we did. We'd like to thank Smiteworks, Sirenscape and Twitch, and of course, all the fantastic people involved with the Star Frontiers RPG over the years. I'm Dulux Oz, and on behalf of the entire gaming group, we'd like to say thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then, may your God go with you. <laughs>